Stupid memes, man. Oh, stop leaking! Okay. Okay, so... Honestly, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I have no goddamn... I, I have no flipping idea what we're gonna be doing. But we're gonna have a guy... Basically help us out a little bit to sort of figure out how it goes. His name is Rooshlog. I'm gonna call him now. And uh, y'all are gonna be nice to him, right, chat? Let me just make sure that I'm calling him here as well. And we're gonna see how this goes. A person or a guy? A guy. Wait. <clears throat> Discord says you are muted, by the way. Hello, hello. It's because I, I use a pedal. So whenever I, I, I tr ah, tread I my pedal, I start talking. Right? Uh, hello. Hey, hey. How are you doing, man? Nothing blew up, nothing broke. This is this is going way too smoothly. <laughs> we, we're doing really well. I am currently in my hangar right here. I have an amazing ship, and uh, I have no idea what to do. No problem. So I'm just now realizing you're actually in Mimitar. And I thought you were in Kaldari, but that's no big deal. I can fix that pretty easily. Oh, okay. Um, Wait. So, <laughs> let's see. Oh, oh. let me get his name so y'all can see as well. Quick so I can get a character closer to you. Uh, okay, I'm just fixing something real fast. Here. And... Yeah, I'll let you do the part you want to do first, and we'll go from there. Whoosh, look. Okay, I think I spelled his name correctly. Intro stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. So, so you're heading over to me. Is there? A, can we, like, group up, or, like, how does this work? Correct. Correct. That's what I'm going to try and, and, and facilitate. Okay, okay. I'm currently in my dock at the moment, and I am um, I'm sitting nice and steady here, ready to uh, to receive a, a moment of what we're going to do. So we're basically going to try to, like, figure out what to do, I suppose. Uh, fair warning. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> no <Okay. worries. laughs> I, I did manage to take down a bunch of ships la last time I played, uh, and I completed some quests with absolute finesse. Um, so that was good. Oh, I know what character I can use. Okay, got that figured out. Okay, so to be fair... Uh, that so, we know you went through the, the NP last time, the whole like, tutorial thing. Yes. Did you ever make it to career agents? Does that sound familiar at all? Or, yes, or no? yes. And I chose a career where I, I was like shooting stuff. Uh, okay, base. cool. Oh, oh, yeah. I can't remember what it was. Oh, my gosh. The, the agency, right? Mm-hmm. And then... Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can't, dude. Uh, and then and I then chose agents, an agency. Missions and career agents, yeah. Top yeah, yeah, tab, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And then career agents. Career the agents. One. And I chose an enforcer because it sounded really badass, I think. Yep. That's that's one of the um, that's like the mission running one, like quest running one, and then soldier of fortune. Soldier of fortune would be the uh, more PvP. Uh, oh, okay. Acclimated so, one. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So and I'm gonna get some maps up just so I can make sure I know where I am and where you are. Oh my god, this uh, is gonna. Could could you or let me look at your screen real quick. Uh huh. Let's uh, try find <laughs> do, a faster way to. Do y'all want music by the way, chat? Are you guys okay with B? no music? Uh, can you tell me how far away from Renz you are? Fr no, you from from, from what? Yeah, you wouldn't know how to do that. You're fine. <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud for moving uh, okay. things around. Okay, okay, okay. No music? Okay, oh, okay, okay. That's perfect. All right, so we're going to search that. How do I open? <laughs> Dude, this is going to be so... <laughs> pretty sure you're close to this system. Yep, there you are. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. You're only five systems away from the hub that we want to go to. Hey. Uh, so our first thing I'm going to need is a character name. Okay, um, I'm called Dark Rune. So Dark and then Spacebar Rune, right? That's my name. Let's see, Dark yeah. Rune. Uh, I I'm think like a, I see you. I'm yep, a guy with sunglasses. You. Cool. I want to send you a fleet invite. And okay. the character invite is coming from uh, Uhtred. So U H T R E triple D. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. So I'm, I'm gonna oh. say yes to that. Correct. Okay. So now is There's that like a group? Popping up in... Correct. Yeah, a fleet oh, is a group, basically. Okay. Utrid, the son of Utrid. Yeah, I think he's watched some. Uh... There. Okay. Right, cool. Now, when that happens, there is a new chat window called Fleet Chat, and there should be like a little number two next to it. I see it on your screen in the Ooh, yeah, 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 bottom down left. Here. And I'm gonna link things to you down there. Okay. And when I do so, I'll give you some simple instructions. Dude, I'm going to get goddamn backseat utilize. here, guys. Okay. Uh, there, solar systems. All right. So your first, whoa. <laughs> your first task is to head there by right-clicking and set destination. Okay. 
and I undock, right? Correct. How do I do that? Uh, somewhere on your screen that I can't see is a button that says undock. <laughs> okay, I'll find that. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. going to be where your webcam <laughs> is or in the upper right-hand corner where chat is, more than likely. Chat, okay. Undock. Guys, chat, I need... Okay, so career... No, okay, what if I just close everything? Can I close everything? Oh my gosh, guys. Uh... I need to leave my space st station somehow, and I'm not sure mm. how to do it, guys. You're definitely in a station. I'm yes. trying to figure out where you could have hidden I, it. I had the undock um, thing earlier, but I don't know where it went now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm not in the station at the moment. Let's see if I can figure out the... Uh, I'm just clicking everything, guys, and trying to make it work. All the four weren't working, So along guys. the left-hand side of your screen, it's called the Neocom. It's like a, like a window shut shortcut bar. And my best guess is that you have minimized something. Um, that hides all the station information. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to click everything, and then hopefully we can find it at some <laughs> point. Oh my god, dude, this is... Um, so on that Neocom, there's like a question mark, and then below that, like a chat box image, and then below that is like a uh, like, like stack newspapers or... Oh, or I see it, undock. Like I am currently uh, undogging. There we go. All right, there it goes, though. <laughs> Chat, okay. Now, once um, you undock, yeah. um, on your overview, one of the star gates is going to be highlighted yellow instead of white. Yeah. And you're going to you're gonna select that gate and jump through it. All right, the one... Okay, so I'm going to do warp too, right? Uh, or you can, you can jump. You can whichever oh, one jump. You okay, do. I'm going to jump. Warp and then we're going to fly over there. Okay. Yep. Repeat that process a couple of times. Uh, you're only like five or six jumps away from where we need to be, so... Okay, I'm okay. Br I'm bringing myself there as well, so I'll be meet you there shortly. All right, sounds good. Okay, guys. So for so me to plan a little bit better, um, as I understand it, you you play WoW and Vanilla uh, Hardcore. Is that correct? Currently, yes, I am a World of Warcraft player, and then currently, yes, I'm doing a Vanilla. That that's basically it. Okay, and like traditionally, is Vanilla what you've always focused on, or or yeah, you uh, played retail as well, and like this is, is Hardcore and Vanilla like the current thing to do? Uh, yeah, um, it's basically, I mean, yeah, for the most part, I've been playing vanilla for, for a very, very long time. I have no idea what's happening, by the way. I'm flying through space. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> it's, it's been uh, hardcore for the most part. Uh, lately, I would say it's like more like a new like new hype thing that we're doing. But um, vanilla is something that I've been doing for a very, very uh, long time. And it's just something I'm in, enjoyed streaming and making content for as well, right? Gotcha. So uh, with your WoW uh, content or for your personal enjoyment too, like... Yeah. What yeah, do you think I, is about WoW that's that's drawn you in over the years that you enjoy all the time? Is it is it PvP? Uh, is it PVE? Is it immersion? Is it you know you can keep the, the answers as, as general and vague as you need to. You don't have to go super deep into it. Just, um, it, it I mean, can give me context on what to recommend in E that might overlap in your interests. It, in it's WoW basically well. just like the feel of the game, right? The feel of the game and the exploring the world and like just the the MMO feeling of like leveling up a character and like you know exploring a world and grouping up with people and stuff like that, right? Yeah. I got you. Um, honestly, I don't know where I am right now. I'm invisible right now, and I'm in the middle of like a <laughs> diagram. Uh, if um, if you scroll wheel in, you can you can see your ship. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the, oh, oh I keep jumping through. to it. That's what you said. The yellow. Yeah. Yep, yep, keep jumping. Yep, yellow okay. gate at all times. And oh, so it jumps as far as it can, and you gotta go again. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, somebody's saying Alt F9 to hide UI. Is that like a thing? Uh, there is a, a hide UI element, and Alt F9 didn't do it for me, so I'm guessing it's not a default. Oh, I started recording. I don't know what's happening. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like a new kid in class, and I'm just the one guy. So what I'm going to set up for us is... The questions. Let me grab my command for it real quick. <laughs> Let's do this command here. Okay, now we're here. Grab so that. What is so going I'm going to set up on? a couple of ships for us, and we're going to do something called Abyssal Content to start. Uh, Abyssals are a little bit like, kind of like Mythic Runs, or I don't know if you follow Diablo at all, but they're, um, what was their repeatable game mode Oh called? yeah, yeah, I get them like Mythic Plus, or like some sort of like a, yeah, exactly. like a, yeah, okay, like a dungeon in a way. Yeah, exactly, and, and these dungeons are three rooms, uh, the entire dungeon has a 20 minute timer, so Ooh. one way or another, we're, we're gonna be done in 20 minutes or less. Uh, okay, so we go in, because... we have 20 minutes, and we're gonna get as much done as we can. Correct, like, because what, like, if we don't, if we don't beat the timer, our ships and our pods both explode, and we teleport back to wherever our respawn is with everything that we oh, had so on we're gonna, destroyed. Oh, so we die if we don't make it. Exactly, which I thought would overlap with your hardcore uh, enjoyment, too. Hey, what's so. that supposed to... I don't die that often, okay? Listen, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't die that much, hey, listen. I'll say that <laughs> independently, a certain Warlock clip showed up on my YouTube feed 
before I even found your channel. Like, do you, do you even directing. do you even like that, watch WoW? Now outside of like maybe Osman, Asman, like why would it? And that's, okay. that's not even recent. Like that's probably like I don't know, maybe two years ago. I had Asman up in the background for, oh. for nat noise a lot. But that, okay. that's why I saw your stream last weekend. Like you're doing the Eve stream, and then so last week I was lurking in your channel. Yeah. And I was like, man, hardcore WoW seems legit. Like this seems like it could be a lot of fun. It is really fun. It is really fun. I. So your, your introduction to, to me was me dying on my hardcore warlock. The warlock clip, it was like Asmund reacting to it, showed up in my YouTube feed independently from me having caught your, your <laughs> uh, sponsor stream last Saturday. I was like, wait a minute, this looks familiar. Wait a minute, it's, it's Guzu. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm, I, I actually am the demonic rune guy at this point. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. What is that, dude? I thought about trying to remember the hotkey for uh, for what what you know, caused the flub, that, and then like randomly mentioning the hotkey as an Eve thing, just to see if there'd be a reaction from chat. Yeah, it's. I didn't, have, I didn't have a chance to go back and find it. So. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Shift Q, man. Shift Q, okay, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> that could be our, our safe word for if we're about to die. I will yell Shift Q. No, that's Q not gonna be your safe word, man. What do you mean? <laughs> no, the safe word is we just say we leave. Okay, there's not. Oh my gosh, man. I... This is not supposed to be a me getting bullied about WoW. This is supposed to be an Eve. I'm probably like three jumps out. Uh, from what I can see on your screen, you're pretty close. So we're almost there. I keep clicking the orange thing, and I'm gonna get closer. I think. Yeah, in fact, I think you're. Yeah, you're there. Oh, you're I'm in the there. I'm there. Yep. Yep. Let me make a couple more jumps. You can chill where you are. Nothing's gonna, gonna be bothering you. Okay. Um, can I fly around? So, like, like up. Yeah, double click in space. That's actually good because when we do abyssals, you're gonna learn how to manually control your ship versus just like, click, 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 click. And you know, just warping points wait, and things so, like that. So. Wait, space? So wait, wait, wait. Uh, double click. Just double click in any direction, and oh. your ship will fly in that direction. You move your camera, double click again in a different direction, your ship will turn and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, I which see be, that. Which will be super important in the in the sites that we're going to do. So you can actually like, dodge attacks and stuff like that. Sort of. So yeah, we can go over some basic uh, way EVE combat works, and I'll try to use like WoW terms to try to overlap them. I like um, WoW terms. Okay. Yeah. So there, there are two ways for your ship to move outside of, of normal movement. And it's typically two major types of propulsion mods oh, gosh. That, uh, that go on your ship. There are oh. afterburners and yep. micro-warp drives. Yep. Afterburners are slower but safer and take less resources. Micro-warp drives make you move much more fast, take way more energy, uh, but they, they bloom something called your SIG radius. Okay. They bloom, you know, expand, or make larger. Um, your SIG radius impacts your, like, to be targeted and or to be hit. Does that make any sense? Like the, the chances of being hit and things like that? Like two hit yeah. chance, basically. Yeah, so like you uh, dodge, you, you can dodge. And exactly, stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So your your micro warp drive will make you your move speed faster, but the pen, the penalty, the trade off, is you're much easier to hit and easier for weapon oh, systems to try. Oh, okay. Um, so for sense. example, missiles do damage based on how fast the missile is moving <sighs> in correlation to how fast the target is moving. <laughs> So if you're in a very fast ship and missiles are chasing you, you're going to take less damage. Yeah. Guns don't care about it. Guns just, you know, are you in the right place at the right time kind of a thing. If yeah, so guns are like, you just go on and you, 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 you let it loose. But missiles are like, you need to, like the trajectory and like you need to like calculate stuff. Exactly. And none of that's done manually. It's just all stuff that's ran in the background and okay. you know, the sweaty nerds can configure it out and people don't care just... Just go, you know, go do their own yeah, thing. Yeah, do whatever you want. I, I think so. Like the guns is like for people that just want to, like, you know, go on and blap, you know. And then yep. missiles are like for big brain stuff. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm jumping into the same system that you're in right now. I'm jumping into it, and I'm going to find the markets, and I'm going to link the market station in our fleet chat. Yeah. And when I do that, you'll just right click and hit dock, and I'm going to pass you uh, the ship we're going to need to do the, the thing uh, we're going to do. Okay. So I I'm going to see it pop up, and I'll just start docking. Yep. Okay. So sounds good. Sounds good. Now, okay. while we're killing that time, I did prepare my own chat with, with something special. Uh, let me grab your, your stream link so I can make sure those okay. nerds are in position. Uh, I was telling my guys, like, look, guys, you know, the, the whole goal here is to show you know, what you can do in EVE to, to a new set of eyes, or in this case, you know, thousands of new eyes. And part of that process okay. is when I'm streaming, do you have hype trains enabled on your, on your channel by chance? Uh, y yes, yes, I, I do. Some people don't. Yeah, yeah. Do they, are there any funny settings? Because we have mine a certain way. Like, do you need five people? Do you need 50 people? Something crazy? I don't know how things scale up, so... Honestly, um, I have no idea. Sometimes oh, I just see it pop up the in the chat, and I'm like, Hey, guys, there's a hype train. <laughs> <laughs> Mournable, you are correct. It is time to shill. 
Did you ever see the movie 300? The whole Spartan thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, when they, yeah, with the so kitchen stuff. like, here I am, you know, barely 100 people on, on a good day, but uh -huh. I brought more professional shills than you did. So, my people <laughs> will cheer 100, they'll gift subs, and they're gonna fire the hype train off. And uh, then Guzu's chat uh, is not responsible for wait. carrying the hype train. Wait. While I push all these other buttons and get a ship full wait, of Guzu's chat. <laughs> Now we'll see if my people leave me hanging and like don't even don't even push the buttons. I don't know if they can hear me, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, there's oh, ten days. Uh, oh, oh yeah. ten days is firing it off. Is he getting his viewers to like give me bits? I don't even know what's going on. So we'll see if there are two more professional shills to join ten days. Oh, thank right, you. Where's that market at? Thank you. Renz is. It's called hentai. Chill. And it's art. Here. Thank, okay. thank you, ten days for the hundred bits, uh, and also Monavail. Thank you for the prime two months as well. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Really oh, old damn. mate! Who's got a bunch of gifted subs? Yeah, oh, 10 subs from really old mate. Not thank you, again. thank you. <laughs> really old mate, thank really you for the 10 subs. Not again. There. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank really you very much, man. Subs to the community. It's Just shilling time, yeah? So we're shilling, six, guys. Eight brooder. Cool. God, I don't know, I don't know what is happening, but I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much, That's man. Thank you, thank right. you. I've given you the station whenever you're ready. You yes, I see the there. Brooder Tribe Treasury. So I right-click and I set destination. Oh. You can right-click and set Desto and then click it from your review. Or it's you can just right-click and hit Dock, whichever you prefer. Is it the orange one? Oh, wait, I can just right-click and Dock? Well, that's easier yep, then, because right that's just one button, right? Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Okay, nice. I'll do that then. So I'm going to head over there now. So wh what are we doing here when we're heading this place? So this is a market hub. You know how in, in WoW, you go to an auction house, right? And then yes. like every every major city has its own auction house. Uh -huh. um, they're, they're linked or whatever, right? They have the same items of sale, but like, that's your point of contact, your point of, of interaction. Um, so for in, in EVE, items are... Ooh. Uh, items are, are literally where you're buying them, okay? Okay. So the ships and ammo and guns and all the stuff I'm about to buy and pass to you, came from this station specifically. They didn't magically teleport from Ogremar to Thunder Bluff yeah. or from Stormwind City over to Tintes, thank you. Ironforge. Like, like these items were actually manufactured, built, put up for sale here, and, and things like that. Apparently so, Tintes. I don't believe I, Guzu <clears throat> actually has Zype Trains enabled. I, I do. He's going to tell me he does. No, I, I do, but, but like, I, don't, I don't know when they no come, idea. okay? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure when they even work. Okay, so are you telling me, did I hear this correct, that you're going to give me loot? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. Okay, so I'm just gonna say, I just wanna say, before that happens, I don't normally take, like, loot from people whenever we're playing and stuff like that. Found. Yeah, so. I'm, I usually, like, I don't like taking stuff from people. I usually go my own way, but I will, in this case, since you're offering, I will accept these items that you will give me. I'm gonna leave an auto attack. So, and you can give them back later. Oh, you your hands can be clean if you want. That'll yeah. No, no, no. I'll just keep them. It's okay. <laughs> but th th just this time around. So Yo! Well, I thought about doing a bit where I said, hey, I know CCP gave you like 1,500 Plex. Uh, really let me show you how that works. And I was going to have you pass me the Plex, and I was going to liquidate it in the liquid disc, oh. and then just keep the disc. And then chat would have a good laugh at it. And I'm like, there's your first Eve lesson. Don't trust people. And Sounds like, yeah, you're going to scam me. Yeah, exactly, exactly. PR oh, zero, oh I forgot to mention, I have like 17 subs. Omega keys I'm giving away, by the way, at the end of the stream. Um, uh oh. So yeah, at the end of the stream, we're going to give away 17 of those. And uh, anyone can really enter, by the way. Just setting, saying it now in case uh, people are interested Guzu. in that. Guzu. Guzu. Um, yeah. Guzu. Guzu. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Guzu. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going <laughs> to fit up my ship first, and I'm going to drop a link in our fleet oh. shop. Uh, that will give That's you right. the fitted ship, like the, the schematics for it or whatever. That way, there will be a win a button on that window that will just have you buy all, and it will make it a lot easier for you to uh, do what we need uh, to do. So, a few moments of patience while I get this sorted. I didn't listen to what he said, guys. I'm sorry. I was... Oh. I suppose it would be good, though, to show people on your channel how to find things. That wouldn't be a bad thing to do, either. I didn't listen. I didn't. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't listening. Oh, you're fine. I'm okay. gonna send you a DM on Discord, <laughs> and this can be a link. Uh, you can load that up, and this is like a um, what would you call it? Like a like an icy veins type of thing, where uh, here's okay. a build for a ship, and like all the modules you need, and blah 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 blah. Um, oh. And so, uh, the first, oh, we we probably need to show you how to open up the the auction house too. Uh, I see there's like a stock market. Is that the auction house? Yeah, click that icon. That's the uh, the market there. And okay. from that window in the search bar, I want you to type Kestrel, uh, which is K-E-S-T... It's Kestrel. Chat will tell it to you. If you do something wrong, chat will always fix it, so... K... K... <laughs> K... 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 
I can type that in the. He's uh, saying pesto. Oh, kestrel. Oh, you know what? I'm putting fleet chat. That'd be way easier. Okay, kestrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just type it. Okay, so I, I think I got it. Yep, grab one of those. <clears throat> um, like the skins or yourself. What? No, you want the actual ship. So go oh, to the ship. Oh, okay. The skins skins so are like, um, like League of Legends things. Like you put skins on a ship and change the oh. appearance. Oh. Is this a good ship? For a starter ship, yes. It's in, even for PvP. We're gonna be using it for abyssals, but okay, the ship okay, itself, okay. Uh, fires missiles and has shields, and that's the. So short it's almost a million. Can I? Okay, I have. That's like all my money, man. Yeah, you don't buy anything yet. So okay, we want to sort the price tab. All right, so sort that twice, I think, to make the cheaper things float to the top. Yeah, four, four and fifty. Yeah, and yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm looking at your stream to make sure I, I'm seeing what. I, yeah, there we go. So then you gotta scroll down to where it says station because that number on the far left is how far away that ship is. Oh, so you so have you to go to a different whatever, place to buy that. Exactly. Oh, yeah. okay. If you bought the 400 one, you'd have to go make four jumps to go get it and bring Take it back. Take no big pain in the butt. You don't want to do that. So okay. you'll buy the 725 one. And he has going to take all your money, but that's fine. We got, we got ways around. All right, so I buy this. Uh, this whole thing is going to cost us like less than this amount. I'm going to send you five mil. And this whole thing's oh. gonna cost less than that. So you'll have you'll have this for this no problem. Oh um, <laughs> easy. I'm gonna start grabbing modules okay. Okay. that we're gonna need. So I'll type these up. Uh, Dude, I like this game, faster. guys. This I game is good. Game. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I like this game a lot. Wait, so I bought the bought the thing. Where can I see where I have it? Oh, yeah. So let me look at your stream real quick. Well, I think I bought uh, it. We, yeah, so there's two inventory things we're looking for a um right below your mail on the far left hand side that whole ui thing yeah the one below the mail should say inventory when you hover over it uh assuming that click it and it'll open up a window okay and we're going to want to look at the ship hanger a kestrel i see it so and i right click and i make active right click make active and then we get worried that it's going to say you don't have the skills for this and if it does it's fine we can fix that too Oh, we have to assemble the ship. I'm sorry. Assemble. Takes hey, yeah, it from okay. Its, I could uh, not find it, man. I could not find it. Janidor, door, by the way. Thank right you for click, the gift of ship. Then right click and make active. Thank you for the gift of sub. Mildan, thank you as well. And really, old mate, thank you for the ten. And prophetic, thank you for the five. Ship. So assemble ship. And if it tells you no, yell at me so I know it's. Thank you guys. So, thank you so much. And then we go up. make active. Operation of Kestrel acquires the following skill: Kaldari oh, Frigate, no level worries. one. That's easy. Kaldari. Oh, we'll show this to the stream too. This is the thing something they want to know as well. Okay. Uh, in the upper left-hand I... corner, where you see your face, uh, down one is your skills. We're gonna open up the skills window there. E... Wait, this. The... Oh yeah, I forgot your webcam's up there too. Uh, I mean your character face. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I understand. I thought you meant my That's face, like my. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So in this window, I want you to switch to skill catalog. Uh... We're going to skill plans. We're gonna go to skill catalog. <clears throat> okay. And then there's a oh my box. gosh. So we're gonna put it in Kaldari. Kaldari frigate. Oh. Uh, uh, with a C, sorry. Kaldari okay. with a C. Oh, Kal. Okay. Yes, got it. So frigate. Uh, okay. So on that frigate one, uh, I want you to write. Well, we'll use the red book thing. At the end of that line, there's a red book. Uh huh. And I want you to click that. And it's gonna be like, give me some misc, and I'll give you the skill, and you're gonna say sure. Now, we're also going to point out that uh, you're in a market hub, and it probably would have been, like, nuanced cheaper to buy Dude. it from the market locally. But for the sake of, of what we're doing, like, it's a lot faster just to do it this way. Yeah, yeah. And to let people know that this feature even exists. Okay, so this uh, is the streamer way, when you have a lot of money. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And you would have say you, you can look at the numbers of the ISK. Like, what is it, 65,000? Yeah, like, that's, that's nothing. That's literally nothing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're a millionaire like, at this point. I have five million exactly. of those, right? <laughs> so we're good. Okay. So now, on that same skill... You want to right click, not the plus sign, but right click the word. So okay, and apply skill points. Exactly. Dude, okay, I'm learning. And then how many do we want to pint? Uh, I'm waiting for the window to pop up. It should auto fill with how many is needed. Yep, just five hundred. Okay. Hit okay. Oh, so cool. it just levels up like that. So that now we can actually use the uh, frigate. Exactly. So you need to get the uh, skills to use the the boat or like the ships. Correct. The reason we're looking at Kaldari is because the ship we're using is a Kaldari vessel. You yourself are a Minmatar character. But during character creation, character creation is just aesthetic. Like, you're not locked out of using other other faction ships. It's uh -huh. just, uh, you start off with Mimitar ships unlocked. And uh, it's, okay. it's extremely common to, uh, to go Take around. notes, chat. This is going to be in the test tomorrow. 
Okay, okay so, so now I have a new ship. Uh, my ship doesn't have any guns on it, though, because that was on my other Correct. ship, right? Correct. I'm going to go to the market and link up. Oh, I can do it this way. Perfect. I'm okay. going to link up the guns you need to buy. Mm -hmm. I should have bought this earlier. This is perfect. Perfect. Excellent. There we go. Right, so I opened the auction house again, right? And I just like buy all the stuff you, you tell me to, basically. Well, in the fleet, I linked up the guns we're going to use. They're going to be missile launchers. And you're going to uh, right click and view market details. Ooh. Oh, so you can just like go in instantly. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. Makes sense. And when you find that, uh, you're going to buy four of them. It uh, doesn't matter which. Okay, so I want the one at the station. So, like, cheapest one at the station. That's 10K. So, yep. four of those bad boys. Exactly. Buy exactly. this for 40K. Uh, the one will pop up, and you'll input that you're buying four units, and then you'll have those. Dude, we're saving 49% regional average. Dude, this is good. <laughs> Dude, we're making then, moves. In your inventory, go okay. to item hanger, which will be below your ship hanger. Which is? Wait, um... The box looking thing. Yes. Uh, you got, okay, I was always on the stream watch for pop ups looking thing. Uh, uh, the, uh, oh gosh, gosh, I feel like I'm on It'll a be test right now. Right below your mailbox. The assets? Oh, that's not a mailbox. Oh, the, I think it's in, one inventory, right? It, yep, got there it. You go. Got it, got inventory. it, got it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so in your inventory, there's something called an item hanger. You're going to go to the item hanger, which is yes. below your ship hanger. And in there, you're going to see those uh, those missile launchers that we bought. Mm -hmm. You can right-click and fit to active ship and just do that four times. Oh, so it, it, then it just equips it to the actual ship we have. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, I did that I and did that. Yeah, when we played the, the, the other time. I just did it in mm -hmm. a very weird way. We're going to do the same thing over... I'm going to link more things. Okay. Uh, C5. Yeah, I know Dark Rune yeah. ship, Dark Hunter. It is what it is, okay? Link you this. Move your face. Where do you guys want me to be? Things. I can be down here. I can be wherever you guys want me to be. And we're we're going to rinse and repeat this process. Uh, small compact DB. <clears throat> Maybe down here is fine. Oh, so I just buy the stuff that you link me, basically. Uh, how many shields do mm -hmm. I want? Uh, buy one of everything I link, and if that number changes, I'll, I'll call out. Okay, understood. So the cap and the booster. Okay, I'm, am I getting boosted, chat? Okay, so he's basically gearing up my character, and then like you know, giving me as much, uh, as much gear as possible, so we can do some loot, some some, some stuff. Hello, smile. Hey, what is up, rooted nomad? Good to see you, man. So this as well. So now I'm buying a compact afterburner for 64k as well here. Getting that too. Yeah, today is Eve uh, Eve Online's 20th birthday. That is why we're playing the game. That's why we are sponsored as well to play it. So uh, if you guys want to check it out as well, there's a link yeah, in the description. Oh, you can type exclamation mark Eve. One compact. All right, we're used to it. Uh, afterburner, I bought. Okay, so let me buy this Check as well. Ooh, 100k? That's expensive. No, I had these man. ships all fitted up and ready to go on another character, but logistically it didn't work out. So that's why we're doing this now. Logistic yeah, okay. Controls. Logistically, okay. But it's good to show people like so how the market works. Yeah, so like it's it basically like an auction house, really. I mean, you just kind of like can go yeah. through it. And you can see where the stations are, and then you can like, I guess all the stations have different prices too. I heard that yep, it, exactly. so there's actually is okay. Do you get to pay taxes in this game? Yes. So, <laughs> uh, the station we're in is this brooder up there. So your standings, your your reputation. There's a wild term. Your rep. With yeah. brooder, st uh, brooder faction will also impact your your tax rates, and there are skills oh. that you can train that will also impact your your tax rates. Oh um, my god! When you're in an NPC corp, like your starter corp, there's like a flat tax rate on the ISK you earn blowing things up. Yeah. And so very commonly, people will get into a player corporation very quickly, uh, just because it'll have zero taxes. And yeah. Help them, you know. Okay, I have another question. Go for it. Can you evade taxes? Uh, not down to zero through okay. what we're gonna call high sex space, like like in town, basically, like in the in the actual civilization. Okay. But um, out in out in out in player ran space, and there's there's different options. Oh, yeah. they're probably gonna get pissed. The players are gonna get pissed if you obey taxes, then, right? <laughs> it depends on the organization you're in. Yeah. Okay. 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 Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. I think I bought all. I bet all the stuff. All the stuff you linked, I bought. Okay. I'm gonna link you one more, and I want you to buy three of these. Okay. Three of these. I'll type that in. So Mordial, hopefully when win in the tournament. So three of these bad boys as well. And then after you buy all that, uh, you can click and multi-select everything, like click and drag, and you can select everything and just fit the ship. Uh, but the things that you have multiple of, like the rigs, you're gonna have to do those multiple times individually. But okay. After that, you're be good to go. Ooh. Also, thank you to everyone for the follows. I do appreciate that. I'm sorry I can't uh, 
Yeah, of course. Yeah, guys, check out Rushback as well. Here and thank all these followers, but I do, do immensely appreciate that, so thank you. Yeah, he's a streamer as well, by the way, guys. He's live at the moment as well. Uh, I figured it, My follow notifications have been playing in, in, in background my my headset for like the whole time. And I mean, it's just now got to be like, I should probably mention that. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, he's streaming you know, as well, guys. You after years of hearing the same notifications, like, you're easy to push them yeah, back. Yeah, they kind of like just like sit in the background of your brain then. Yeah. Okay, I think I fit everything to my ship now. So now I'm awesome. basically like... Am I really geared now? Am I am I am I good? Yeah, the ship is fitted up. We need to do one more thing, which is buy ammo, because you know missile launchers are really good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. Uh, I'm gonna link those up for you in just a moment. We're okay. Buy Caldari Navy Nova Lights. Caldari Navy Nova Lights. Okay, so we're gearing up our our character right now, technically, guys, and then we're gonna go out and we're gonna do something like like a there. mythic plus or something. Nova. And I don't think we can shoot around here while we're doing this, guys. He sound like the goth. There. Here. Control circuit. Okay, so he's giving um, me some. Let's grab these. I'm gonna buy 2,000 of them. I don't know how many we need. This number we're gonna use. Uh, 2,000 hmm. of these. All right, I'll link up the ammo for you. Okay. Uh, buy 2,000 units of them. Yes, I shall do so. so two, and 2K then... of those? Okay. Yep, 2K, correct. That's 2.4 million. Mm hmm. Yeah, ammo's not cheap. And this is nice ammo. Like, this is ammo you have to use day one or whatever. It's just. Oh my uh, gosh, okay. Efficient. Dude, money's tight, man. That's all, half my money. Yep. That you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so I got that, so now I need to equip those too, right? So I just fit to ship again? Uh, so for the ammo, yes, two things. We need to go to your inventory like that. Uh, move those missiles from your item hanger into your the top. It says Dark Runes oh, Kestrel. Yeah. Uh, that'll be your, your ship's cargo base. Move those up there. Okay. At the very top, perfect. And then... Go to your fitting window, which is one click down from your your market, your your stock market symbol. Okay. One below that, let's get oh yeah, there I remember I did this, and then I drag it over mm -hmm. to my guns, right? Uh, and then from that window at the, uh, I don't say, but yeah, that that's perfect, exactly. Ooh, okay. Do okay. you right. notice how some of your modules are grayed out? Uh, yes. So some of them are solid colored. Yeah, see There's those. There's a reason for that. Okay. They're saying that you don't have the certain skills you need. Now, there's two notifications on this window that are trying to get your attention right now. One, oh, it's grayed yeah. out. So you could right click and show info. Oh, so it's like a car, man. Like I, I got like all the, the steering wheels and stuff like that not working. And on your own, you found the other notification. That other notification was saying, hey, you don't have these skills, nerd. Yeah. And uh, you can fix that by just, you know, <laughs> buy and train. Uh, <laughs> the same way we did that skill earlier, right? Like you can just oh, you just grab I the can other, just do other it like those. Bonk. Click, 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 click. Yep. Exactly. Okay, so I just click, click all the bad buttons and make them not bad. Exactly. Okay, so I think I did that. Uh, so can I drag it in now? Oh, wait, that's my control circuits. Where's my gun? Uh, your gun are the missiles up top, missile launchers up top. Like the, the top left? Uh, just top, top. Um, there's four of them. So you're looking to, there's like three of the same thing. Keep going up. Oh, you mean the, the grade ones or what? There you go, yeah. But you can't put your missiles in until yeah. you make them not gray anymore. And you can't make them not gray anymore until you right click and show info. Okay, favored by many... Okay. And go to requirements, the middle tab. So I need a higher... Oh, I need a higher level for that. No? And it wants you to right-click these skills. So right-click the light missile skill on that window. That one? Uh, the one above it, I believe. I might oh. be... I might be in, like a in, second in the middle? Your nope, you're at the bottom one. You can go to the top one where it says light missile one. Okay. Uh, when you're at light missile one, you want to apply skill points like we did before. Okay, and then I just click it in. I don't know what I did. I just clicked through it. I... <laughs> <laughs> now it's telling you something else. Yeah, go back, do it again. See if the little pop-up was going at us for. Okay, I'll do that again. Us for apply skill points. Okay, so I do it, and then we cannot apply the uh, skills because you're not trained all the required skills. I need level two thing. Missile launcher two. Okay, I didn't realize the one before that was a prerequisite. I thought it was something else we had to get. Okay, hit okay, and then do what you were doing the first time because apparently you were right, and apply skills to that missile launcher skill. Oh, yeah, of and course. If you notice those little pips, the white pit means that you have the first level done already, and you're going to apply points for the second level. Oh, yeah, I knew that. That's why I wanted to do that, because I was wondering yeah. why we should do the other one first, right? That's why. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, so we got that. <laughs> Perfect. Now, your missile launchers, uh, you should be able to enable them by uh, turning them online. So, when your mouse cursor over them, it'll say put online. You should be able to do that one. You'll have to do that for each one. 
Oh, the last oh it's a little on button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it, I get it. So we're turning them on, and then I drag in my gun. Yep, after so now they along, all have ammo. Okay, them. dude, okay, now go. we're good to go. Uh, okay. And then last, do the same thing for your other... You have two other modules that are grayed out. Oh, so uh, I need to do the same thing to those. Exactly. You've got one in your mid-slot, and you've got one in your low slot. Oh, so I just go in here, do the info, and then I apply skill points. I spend my money for the skill points. Now, for something that will benefit chat later, uh, okay. everyone who makes a new account, a new character with EVE Online, if you use somebody's referral code, they give you a million skill points. You don't oh, wow. need to do it before you make your account. You can do it you know, retroactively as well. And having a million skill points ready for okay. every brand new character like makes all of this so easy. Dude, like, I'm so overwhelmed I, I, by information. I couldn't information. see how fast how many points you had uh, available or whatever, but... Um, like, okay, so new players are going to start with a million skill points. It's, it's massive. There you go. Yeah, okay. so an Your mod's got it. Perfect. Okay, so... Add two... So what do I do here with the shield? So... Train level five. Is that what I need to do? So we don't want to add to Q because that's going to make it like slow train. Um, okay. Remove level five from Q. To, um, shield operation. If you right click your shield operation, I see a check mark in a white pip, which tells me you've already got it, already check, already skilled. That power grid management thing. Yeah. We want shield operation one. That by one. Right clicking. Uh, waiting for the stream to catch up. Okay. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so right click that. And why? Oh, I bet it's because it's saying that you don't have enough. Uh, have you have you used your own million skill points already? I don't know. Oh, I know how to find it. <laughs> so in the bottom left hand corner of your UI, on the yes. column, there's something saying that you have unclaimed items to redeem. Oh, yeah, a little, little box. Oh, wow. Let's see if they're in there. Are they in there? I have no idea. Okay, I'm waiting for the stream to catch up. Oh, this is your event thing. So oh, sorry. Click the one above. You're fine. Click the one above that one. I claim something. That's uh, fine. Okay. They'll, they'll go in there too. So the wait. What one button? Oh, this one. The fleet. Oh, wait, what am I clicking? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so you you start off the very bottom. You hit the um. Uh, yeah. You hit daily login campaigns. Go two down from that one. So this one looks like a, like a gift box with a wrapper on it and a bow tie. Go two down from there. It looks like a... Uh, well, I'm old, so it looks like a floppy disk. Oh, I see it. I see it. Like These... Guys. I'm waiting. I'll watch. Yep, there you go. So mm -hmm. I see a 20,000 skill points. Can you scroll down for me? You got a lot of yes, stuff sir. 150k. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And there's your... Well, there's 150. That'll work. I don't know where the... Oh, there, I see a 500,000, too. Oh. Too busy. Okay, cool. Uh, redeem oh. these, yeah, redeem the skill points to your current station and the ISK if you want. Can I just select all and redeem points. everything? Yeah, you can do that too. Absolutely. I'm going to get a woman radioactive. Oh, what is that? And then goggles? Okay. They have uh, cosmetics in the game, like where you can dress your oh, character up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I redeem to current station. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now, those skill points are available for you to apply those those skills that you get. So, oh. go back to your fitting window and uh, start. So Apply skill points. This skill is currently in training. Please pause your training and try again so that I can okay. remove yeah, level so one from you. Yep. And apply you skill point to. instead. And I do that. And now it works. Okay. Skill training completed. She told me skill training was completed. Easy. <laughs> I got it. Okay. It's now on. Everything is on. Oh. Never mind. Okay. You'll do it one more time for your, yeah. your low slot. You've got that power coil thingy, Majigger. Yeah. Then... I'm doing it. Okay, skill so applying training. skill points. While you do that, I'm going to grab the filaments we need to go do the abyssal stuff. I am so overwhelmed with what's happening, man. I feel like I'm in school and I have like a test that I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm trying to do well on the test, man. Okay, I need to make sure we do well on the test, guys. Okay. Okay, so that's going to take a while. Remove it from Q because that's going to take a long time. So apply skill points and I just spend my money. And now we have that leveled up. So now that one is usable as well. Then I can do this and then activate online. To bring online... This also works out really well because the um, the place we were going to do this before, oh. I didn't realize, was also the same time that CCP is doing their big fireworks show. And oh. uh, EVE has a thing called tie-dye, that when a certain number of thousands of people get in the same system to avoid crashing, like everything just moves in slow motion, and we were going to be trapped in that hell. So <laughs> we've avoided that thing. Okay, so okay, fine. okay. Coming over here. All, All right. right, so your ship looks good. Uh, make sure you turn on that one module in the low slot. It, it doesn't work. I need more... Uh, oh. Flux online. Oh, power grid. Interesting. Yes, interesting. We can fix that. Let's see. Uh, what is it? It's like a mechanic, Pastor. man. Which what, what one do you need? Compact. Oh, wires. sorry, I closed that. Power grid? I think it said power grid. Um, Dude. Go to your skill window. 
which is right below your character portrait. Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> We're gonna type in the word power. <laughs> ah, perfect. Is this power. One power. Power grid management. Yep, you got it. Yep. Right click that and uh, slam some points in there. Uh, I'm slamming it. I slammed 200k points. Hey, that's gonna be more than uh, we're, we're good then. Okay, uh, I slammed it all, man. Okay, <laughs> and I can turn it on. It doesn't work still. What? Yeah, I got scammed. What? We shouldn't have anything different. There's a, there's an easy cheat for this. I got that covered too. Let's go over to the market. Oh. I have this a lot, so I actually have the name. CPU of it. power not grid. CPU, CPU power not grid says uh, Imo Kachan. Power grid. Was it the say advanced? What was the word? Oh, CP CPU. That's CPU why. power, not yeah. the grid. Go to your power. Yeah, go to your skills again. Of Type course. In, yeah. Uh, CPU. yeah. So CPU. CPU management. Yep. If you have any skill points left, slam them in there. <laughs> uh, slamming 200k. Uh, slammed it in. <laughs> All right, they're slammed. Nice. All right, go, go see if it works now. It, uh, it's online. I slammed in the hey, points and it's online. We won. We're good. We beat the game. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go kill Ragnaros or something now? Yep, yeah, might as well. That'll be, this will be the easy part of the game now. Okay. All right, so now you can undock. Are you ready to undock? <laughs> I am ready. To, I've been docked for a while, and I'm ready to right? undock. So now the gear is... We, we, we have gear, right? We're good? Yep, we're good. Okay. <clears throat> I've heard people say that this is... Okay, another question before we undock. I've heard people say this is like a spreadsheet simulator. Is that true? So the thing about EVE is that there's like a lot of different activities you can do in EVE, and okay. some of them do interact with spreadsheets, but the combat-based ones, typically not. Uh, unless you're doing a lot of like damage calculations, you're doing like the switch. Like, I'm at, you would use spreadsheets in EVE in that situation. Okay. The same way we would use them in WoW for min-maxing performance oh, of certain builds and okay. certain efficiencies. And if two nerds get an argument about like, well, this skill point selection is better than that skill point selection, and oh. they get into a slap fight about it on the internet, well, one was just gonna make a spreadsheet and like, look, I win because I have proof. And then one's yeah, like, well, okay. now my feelings are hurt and they're gonna stomp away. So we use the spreadsheets in the EVE the exact same way as, as we do in WoW. There are just some activities in EVE that benefit from uh, okay. spreadsheets more, like like trading. You know, there, there, there are station traders in EVE Online that spend their entire day docked up and they're buying and selling and they're buying and selling and they're buying and selling. It's like people playing the, the auction house, basically. Exactly. Yeah, That's okay. Exactly what it is. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna undock. I'm ready. Okay, cool. When I see you out in space, I'll warp us off to a spot real quick. Yippers. I'll grab these. There. Whoa! Just yeah, the game looks really cool, so I agree. The, the, the game so actually looks I sick. See you. So I'm gonna go here. We're gonna warp to this at 100. So do I just warp to you, Utrecht? Uh, because we're in fleet, I can warp us, and so oh. you can go hands free. So why I just hands off and you do it all? Yeah. Oh, that, the yeah. best way to keep someone from screwing it up, right, is not, don't let them touch anything. <laughs> okay, so I just don't do anything, and you play the game for me. <laughs> hey, I like this, dude. This game, this game is sick. There are, so we're using missiles, right? There are ships in the game that use drones. Okay. And uh, those drones behave that way. You kick the drones out into space and they go out and attack things for you. And, okay. And so that's someone's more, someone's more someone's speed than it would be fine that way. Can you get close like you to the planets work. and stuff? Oh, you know what I did? You know oh. what I did? I didn't work you. So in our fleet chat window, this is going to show them too. In our fleet chat window, yeah. uh, right click my name and uh, go to fleets and warp to member. And you'll warp you to uh, Fleets, warp to member. Oh, so if you leave me, I can follow you. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Okay. Tight. Uh, good. <laughs> good. Okay. Let's go, guys. I had clicked the notification in chat a long time ago, but thank you to Janador for the gifted sub over in Guzu chat. I do appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you for gifting us up, guys. He, the guy we're talking to is called Rushlock, by the way. I finally he stopped going tone deaf to the follow notification. I'll follow stop. Uh, he is in. In fact, he, he, someone must math this out. He, I hit he, exactly 29,900 follows. Hey, their, congratulations. Their that's awesome. <laughs> like, Congrats, I don't dude. know how they got the exact number like that, but well done. That's awesome. That's awesome. He is an uh, Eve. You have landed, and you are nearby. Yeah. That's good. So. Okay, so I got money for landing. So, Eve, the last several years, has been revamping their new player experience. That's and his channel, guys. You can follow him up there in, in the chat. That's when starts playing the game. They finish the tutorial, they finish the career agents, and they'll come into my chat and go, hey, what should I do next? And I'm like, oh no, well, here's the problem with Eve. There is no something you're supposed to do next. Okay. It doesn't exist. Yeah, because right? after it's, the tutorial, I was like, now what? Exactly. And that's why, that's why I DM'd you, I was like, hey dude, can you show me <laughs> as a, what is that sun, dude? Holy, you see that sun? It's bright, isn't it? It's really bright, holy crap. Yeah, that's the reason to bring out here too is like you mentioned like you you enjoyed the exploration of the game too. Like, yeah, it looks the game really can be cool. Very immersive. 
And if, if someone has a, a sci-fi background, they're going to have obviously a greater appreciation for, for views yeah, like this. It looks they amazing. Knew this was and for a 20 year old MMO, they have done a lot over the decades yeah. to keep the game visually modern. Right? Yeah, you can like, see the little sun things of the sun where they like doing sun things exactly. and stuff. <laughs> That's really cool. So, I'm going to link something in chat for you. You don't need to buy this. It's just so you know what I'm using. Okay. Uh, these are called filaments. And these filaments are acting like keys from Diablo and or WoW, where I pop the key and... Uh, oh. Like, I pop the key and then and then we're good to go. Why like, is it angry? I figured out how to remove the UI. Now I can, like, oh, really look at the game. Dude, this actually looks really beautiful. I will say that. The game looks amazing. And the music as well. This looks really sick. I mean, just a moment. I'm gonna have to move this over one more time. Oh, he does perfect. not this care. <laughs> All right, so where is that gate at? This looks sick. This looks amazing. Yes. Can I click that? I'll, I'll warp this over. Damn. Uh, squad. Squad warp point. It, the game looks I'm visually stunning. Quick, when we land on the gate, we're gonna jump the gate. Uh, the reason for that is they they made a recent change to these abyssals. They didn't like. Players didn't like. Um, players running these types of sites in market hubs because it removes effectively all risk. Uh, there'd be so many people in the system running these types of sites that there was no opportunity for uh, PvP, basically. Yeah. Which means we have to jump one gate, then we can pop it. So, so won't matter to you too much, but dude, really. I'm not gonna lie, it's so hard to pay attention when you're saying because like you're whenever, right. we're, whenever, whenever we're warping, it actually looks really cool. I have like the UI <laughs> off, and I'm just looking at the, the things. It looks really cool. Like, the game looks amazing. Yeah. Okay, so where are we now? Well, what, is, what is this place? Uh, you're on a gate. You're going to select that gate and jump it. It's on yep. your overview. It's, I think, the very top. Uh, we're just moving one system over so we get out of, basically get out of town. We're, oh. we're, we're in oh, so too we're, safe of, of a neighborhood, and we need to... to oh, so I'm just following you. Exactly. You're going to hop the same gate when I see right. my local. I, I, for, I, forgot to, I, I forgot to, to, let you, to let you introduce yourself, by the way. You haven't even said who you are and what you do and That's everything true, like that. That's true, right? I didn't think so, about that. So, I mean, feel point. free to introduce yourself to the chat Hi, and what everyone. you do and I'm what you're about. <laughs> I've been streaming EVE Online for about 10 years. Okay. Uh, and I run it as like a live help desk. 10 so, years. So, you know, new players coming in, players coming back after a long break. Uh, when a game's been running 20 years, you get lots of people who take five-year breaks, come back, and we get caught up on things. Uh, mm -hmm. Hop that gate for me when you get a chance to listen. Uh, uh, I am trying to go to your... How do I hop the gate? Sorry. Uh, on your overview, the very top, uh, the to top oh. right. It won't be flashing yellow this time because we didn't set destination. Is, it, you, a, got it. is yeah. it a Budan, the one? He's one, yep, exactly. And I just jump. jump? Okay. Correct. Yeah, keep talking, sorry. Yep, there you're good. So, yeah, I run my stream like a live QA. And so, if somebody, like we we're talking about just a moment ago, if someone finished a tutorial, finished Career Agent, oh, what do I do now? Then they go looking on YouTube, they go look on maybe on Twitch nowadays. And what I'll do is I'll ask them questions, kind of like what I was asking you earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, about like, well, what do you like about WoW? You know, it's not it's not a challenge. It's not like, hey, justify your enjoyment in WoW. It's a, if I know what you enjoy about WoW, it becomes easier for me to okay. speak in the common language of things that you're going to understand. If you told me, I love dungeon running rush. That's my number one thing to do in WoW. I I can't get out of dungeons enough. Cool, we're going to run abyssals a lot. So I think you're going to mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Um, if someone told me they enjoy puzzle solving games, I would tell them to get into exploration. If they told me that I wouldn't get PvP, I would tell them different types of PvP that EVE has to offer, and we would see which one correlates with their with their interests. And so that's yep. all I do with the stream, is run it like a, a, a Q&A desk, and then obviously I have regulars that are in there, you know, however often they're in there, and it turns into like an adult daycare. I don't know if you ever feel that way, but <laughs> yeah, the streamers no, basically run... Yeah, you're like a substitute daycare. teacher, okay. Could you imagine what these people would be doing if we weren't here to keep them distracted? Oh like, my gosh, yeah. I, right? I, I think it's a good thing then. It's a good thing. Exactly. The the the, serv the service we provide is, is understated, I think. Yeah, for sure. So, we're on grid, and I'm going to pop this little filament thing. Now it's not okay. angry at me anymore. And it's going to put up on your overview... Uh, let me see what the symbol looks like. Oh my gosh. I see the symbol. Really? What is that? Add this to my overview in a second. Okay. Oh, now it's there. It takes a little, it's lagged out a little bit. I know um, what I'm I see it on your overview. So, on okay. your overview, the purple is me, and just above that the is... Abyssal Trace. Exactly. So we're going to activate that trace when I say go. I'm going to count down from three. How do we activate um, it? Uh, click and jump. Oh, we'll activate jump. gate. Uh, activate gate? We'll jump, just like a, yeah, we'll, we'll jump it just like a, like a, like a, like a gate. Okay. Okay? Yep. Uh, three, two, one, go. And a pop-up will appear and you'll hit activate. Uh, okay, activating. So when we, so when now we I... jump in, 
we're not really there yet. Like, like the game won't make us do anything until we move, but the clock is already ticking. You I saw a big red here. box that said something 20 minutes. Yeah, exactly. We've got 20 okay. minutes in and out of here. Dude, this um, game... Okay, sorry, man. I know... This <laughs> looks sick, man. This looks really cool. You're in a fishbowl now, by the way. That's that's how I was gonna gonna describe oh. this. So I want you to look on your overview, and you've got that ship out there. And yeah. I want you oh. to double click in space. Don't fly straight at it. Fly like at an angle. Oh, and the is it the, 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 the Lancer and, or the Bilko? Uh, the Lancer. We're gonna we're gonna orbit the Lancer. Okay, orbiting the Lancer. You're gonna turn your your missiles on. Now our missiles can hit at 42 kilometers. I'm I'm sitting on top of this thing's face. Like I'm going I'm going real close to it. Okay. It's fine. We'll be okay. The content we're doing right now is super super basic and, and easy. Uh, okay. And so I want you to do a couple of things. We're gonna you're gonna target it. You're gonna turn your missiles on. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're on. I think they're on. on. Cool. You're gonna turn on your afterburner, and you're gonna turn on that orange shield module. Yes, turning off the afterburner is on. Shield is now on. Uh, missiles are currently running as well. I am currently approaching the Lancer and trying to shoot my missiles. Yep, you're doing great. Its shields are already down. We're chewing into its armor now. I'm chewing. Um, yep. Now, when it dies, we're orbiting it. We're gonna get slung shot off into a direction. Now, I said before that we're in a fishbowl. If we fly outside the boundary of the fishbowl, okay, we take damage and then die. I don't want to die. So we can see the health on the top of the screen, by the way, for people that are unaware of it. That the health is right at the top of the screen for the mob, and my health is in the middle, right? Correct. Yep, yes. Yep. You got it. Okay, so now we're killing the one guy. So you're hit control space, control space, control space. We'll stop your ship. That way we won't get slung shot somewhere. And oh, there okay. is a loot thing in here. Uh, the Triglavian bio whatever. We're going to lock that. We're going to put missiles on it. We're going to shoot it while I fly toward it. I'm going to double click in its direction. That way when it dies, it won't... Uh, it's already dead. Yeah, it has no technology. Well, he just left. He said no one left. Uh, do what? You're still here. We're still here. Wait, wait so we go to the Triclavium, blah, blah, blah. Yep. The bot now it's turned into a biocombinative cash work rack. I'm, I'm going to sit on Yes, here. I You're understood what you said. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Head over this direction. And uh, it won't. the can won't be on your review. I'm going to add the can to my review. So <laughs> if you see the can... Right click it and let's see if I can find add rec to overview. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so uh, like you've got to select. So right click on it. Oh, you forgot it. Yeah, perfect. Now you're going to loot it. Yeah, so I you're right click that and I. Oh my gosh, I'm flying into it. Wait, I'm stopping, stopping, stopping. Okay. Yeah, control space. Control well, space you can fly into You actually fly into it. That's kind of cool. Yeah, there's no like bump damage. So open guns. cargo. Okay, so you yeah. can like fly into things and like have like fall damage and whatever. Correct. Yeah, there's no collision damage. Okay, okay, so I got a lot of stuff. I just t take everything? Just loot all, yep, just loot all. Uh, yeah, I see from the cans like one million and change. Now, the next important part is that gate. There's a gate on the review we need to burn toward, and we're going to jump it on contact. That means we're going to burn toward it, and we're going to jump as soon as we get there. So I'm going to tell it to jump now, what, and what? when I get there, it'll, it'll just jump me. What gate? We've cleared room one. Yes. So this was the first boss. Room. Correct. We killed the first room, we got the loot, and we're heading for the second gate, which uh, I need you to approach and head toward, because I already jumped the room. Uh, which gate is that? What can Maybe. I see the gate? Uh, there's only one. It's, it just says transfer. Oh, is that conduit? big gate? Is that like actually looks yeah, yeah, like yeah. a gate? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, so I just double, double click that and I approach it, right? Yep. Or I wouldn't double click it. I would, uh, I would select it and then and tell it to jump. Oh, and see activate gate. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Tight. I, I'm doing uh, good. I'm doing that now. Yep. We're still alive. Uh, once you come through the gate, okay. there's a single frigate here. Your modules will stay on. Your orange shield needs to be turned back on, by the way. I will turn your orange shield back on. Yes, I will turn it on after I'm uh, through this gate. Damn. Okay, this looks cool, dude. Uh, once I, through, I, I don't know, man. Orbit this, uh, this frigate, and we're going to okay. shoot the frigate when you get here. So the striking... Is it the striking thing? Yep, correct. Okay, so I'm okay, activating my missiles number. again. I got my shield on as well, and I had my afterburner too. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. So the orange shield thing, I'll, I'll explain a little bit. The orange shield is raising your resistance. Uh, so oh, I see it, that. it mitigates your damage, right? Uh, yeah. And then your your last module, the blue shield, is your active repper, uh, like an active heal. Every time it cycles, it heals your shields. Oh, so it's like a renew, so, yeah, okay. Right. So far, I've been the first one in each room. We'll make you the first one in the next room. Uh, that way, the rep will target you and you can get some more. So. Okay. Okay, so, so when this when this frigate dies, there's that red box in the room. Uh, you can go ahead and pre-select it if you'd like. You can have it targeted. And when this frigate dies, we're gonna we're gonna have you go shoot that and grab the looting. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do that. 
Chris Omet, thank you for the Prime 3 months, and what the fuck is that? Thank you for the Prime 2 months. back on the frigate. So the f what? The frigate? Uh, sorry, the striking, the striking. Okay, yeah, so we're uh, focusing little, on that one, right? The little triangle symbol is, yeah, we're, we're still killing that guy. Yeah, the red, all uh, the red stuff is bad. Right, the next gate will not open until the rats are dead, or the targets are dead in this room. Okay, 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 so we, we gotta kill everything before we can leave. Correct. Okay. In your upper left-hand corner of your screen, there's a red circle that's, like, diminishing. That's the, Oh, that's uh, the timer, timer. I see it, yeah. So as a general rule, as long as you have more than half that circle by the time you finish this room, you're doing great. You know what I mean? Okay, how many rooms are there total? Is there like always a, a certain amount of rules? Three. Always three rooms. Okay, always three. So we're, we're okay, we're chilling then. So now we killed... You're I think we killed everything now. So now we gotta loot, go to the, the Bloco thing image and loot that, right? Yep, yep. You're gonna grab the loot. Okay, I get it, I get it. I'm, I'm starting to understand a little bit, I think. It's, I will say, before, as a new player, it, this is very overwhelming, okay? It is, absolutely. Like, it there's is so extremely many overwhelming. So many and for years, like I, like I said before, I've been doing this 10 years, and like, this whole mentoring thing is what I what I offer to, to anyone who comes in the channel. Like, I, I was telling my people today, so what, I, we had this conversation, I think, Open? yesterday on, on, on Looting. Discord. Nice. About, like, Go explain there? to people the the goal is not to get Guzu hooked on Eve. The goal is for Guzu to show a couple thousand people Eve, and then some yeah. single digit percentage of you go, hey, this game looks pretty cool. But, god, I'd be overwhelmed. And I say, yeah. hey, don't worry about it. I'll help you. Like, this isn't just Guzu I'm offering to mentor. I would offer that to anyone in chat that goes into it and says, hey, I'd like to give, him a try, give the yeah. game a try. Um, you know, Rush, can you help me out with it? That, that's literally what I do Monday through Friday. So uh, I am yeah, in, by the way. So if is for you, go for it. So I, I am inside the new, new place now, the final uh, part of the dungeon. I'm approaching the Triaclean thingamajig, and they are shooting me now as well. Yep, exactly. There's an escort, so I guess I go for the escort first because he's closest, no? Oh, you know what's interesting? Yeah, yeah, definitely kill the Lucid escort. Okay, okay. Dude, he is slamming me. Actually, he's not doing a lot of damage. This sounds like really bad. Yeah, he's not doing any damage yet. But I'm watching your shields. He's doing a little bit of damage. If you just want to see what it looks like, activate your blue shield thing, oh. let it cycle once, and then turn it back off. And that's how you're gonna, you're gonna... Oh, so that's uh, how you passively manage. heal. There you go, yeah. In fact, you can leave yours on a little bit until the, the healing... But it, it uses, like, up. power, right? Exactly. You're, you're gonna burn mana. So, you know, someone... Oh. Uh, now you wanna turn it back off, right? Exactly. Um, someone who's, who's not used to it would just turn it on and leave it on. But then your mana would run out, and then you'd be screwed, right? So... Yeah, so you don't want... You, you wanna, like, manage your mana and, like, make sure you don't... Is my mana my capacitor? Correct, exactly. You've okay. Hit points, you've got mana. Eve just calls it uh, hit points and capacitor. Yeah, because it's like space and stuff. Yep. Exactly. Makes sense. Perfectly. Okay. And then same concept. Uh, when it dies, you're going to go shoot and loot the, the other can, the Triglavian thing. Yeah, so I'm approaching the Triglavian thing and I'm making sure I target it. So, like, control and click is target. That I know. Correct, correct. That I have learned. Okay. And then I activate my cannons again or my missiles and we blast it up. So, there's something that, that Chad's talking Stop, about, and Chad. this is the thing. Um, there's something called grouping your weapons. And, like, Ooh. you can always tell an Eve nerd in Twitch chat, because they will they will foam at the mouth if your weapons aren't grouped. Functionally, it doesn't matter. Aesthetically, it's definitely, definitely helpful. Um, where your missiles are, uh, once they finish their current uh, volley, and the little white part goes away, yeah, uh, that's what there's like an infinity, infinity symbol next to them. Uh, if you if you click that, your your missiles will stack, or you can click and drag them and stack them on top of each other. Oh, and group all weapens! Yeah, oh, so I can just click one instead. Exactly. That That's way. way you better. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't you say that? <laughs> because we want to farm as many salt things from chat as we possibly can. Oh, you want to like, make them angry on purpose? Okay. So you want to right, you want to get the go. new players into the game, but make <laughs> the old people hate you. It's, there you go! You okay, I get fire code for streaming Eve. Anytime that you're in the flavor or in the mood for that flavor of. Of soda. That's what you need to do. You just do everything wrong. Okay. You'll bring in the new people. Just like this looks, game looks amazing. This is awesome. And then all the all the veteran players will be out there tearing their hair out, getting, oh getting frustrated. Oh my god! Yeah, you you are a you are a streamer, man. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. So I looted the thing and I got all the loot. I don't know what I looted, but I took it. You got that's fine. That's that's exactly what you need to do. So now don't look uh, at the loot. The gate, you need to select the gates and head towards it and activate the gate. And the the name of this gate is origin conduit and Ooh. that origin keyword is your clue that you're hitting the final gate to exit the abyss and that's how you know you've hit the finish line and you're okay. safe and 
Because you go back to die. the origin, yeah. Makes yeah, sense. you go back, you go to look at our clock in the upper corner. We've, we've barely even used half our time. So yeah, no. they've, they've made Abyssal's extremely accessible. Like, we it's stopped, content. we talked a lot, and mm -hmm. we still have half our time left. And these things are designed for three people to okay. run together. Um, okay. And all and we, we do, do there's, there's, there's way higher problem. difficulty with a lot more like ships and stuff like that, I figure, right? Exactly. There are, there are six tiers. Uh, they go tier one through six. They have like little, little keywords like tranquil, calm, and beyond. And, and okay. It's going to be a quiz later, so there's no reason to try and teach you the words. But um, It's going to be an assist chat. We pop that one just fine. Uh, our choices, uh, we can do one more of those if you'd like. I, I, uh, I'd like to do one more. Yeah. I brought enough supplies for one more. Actually, yeah, I brought enough for one more. Yeah, let's do one more of these. I'm done for that. Notice your loot. Um, near your capacitor and to the left of your capacitor, there are two columns of buttons. Yeah. And I would like you to to click the top of the left column. The hold uh, back, hold your... base. Okay, so that's my inventory. Exactly. And I want I like... to see what you looted. Um, well, I, I mostly want to talk about what we looted. So the red loot is something that NPCs purchase. That way, when you're doing this activity, um, you're always getting something, right? You're always getting oh, some kind yeah, of Yeah, that's like scraps. That's like stuff you just yeah, like vendor. It's, okay. It's your core payment. And then the other, uh, the crystalline things are for crafting, as far as I understand. Oh, yeah, so I know you and, can smelt you stuff, right? Books. Exactly. Yeah. And then the, well, I guess I should have specified with the red things. The flat red things are the are the, the NPC purchasing things. Yeah. The, uh, the phallic red things are the filaments we're using for entering the space. Oh, okay. So when I say I'm popping filaments, I'm referring to those. And so you picked up like a, a calm, which is a T1. You picked up a tranquil, which is a T0, which is what we just ran. You picked up a tranquil dark. So like, oh, so these, these are one, okay. So these are like difficulties are in a way. These are keys, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Like okay, I get that. The keys. And the, and the word is the the keyword for for difficulty level. Okay, I, that makes sense. This is relatively newer content for Eve. This came out a few years ago, and. A lot of veteran players in EVE would tell you it's hard to play EVE casually for like 30 minutes or less and quote unquote get anything done or accomplished. Yeah. But Abyssal content kind of fixed that. Like, yeah, you go and you, you do like a, an, an Abyss or two and you're good. Exactly. Maybe you're working from, from home and you've got like 15 minutes till a meeting comes up, pop into oh, an Abyssal, get in, yeah. get out, log back out, and you're ready to go again. So, okay. Yeah, we uh, get a bottle sure of those keys though. So, like, you're, not, you're never going to be like running out of these if you keep running them. Exactly. Well, that's because the frigate, we're flying small ships. The small ship abyssals are um, scaled as if three people were running them. And so that loot is meant to be split three ways. Oh. Not like literally we have to worry about it, just that's how the game is balanced, right? Okay, uh, so we did we it together, from... but I just took all the loot. So like, this is loot no, yeah, for, no, for both it was, of us, technically. It was easier to show Twitch chat that way. Like, that's, yeah, that's so it, it, but this is the loot for both of us, basically. Exactly. If we ran okay. three people, then we might say, all right, Guzu, you grab room one loot. Uh, Rush, you grab room two loot. Uh, Rando Nerd 3, you pick up Room 3 loot, whatever. Okay, like, makes sense. Yeah, okay. You can do any way you want to. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm the master looter, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna pop the next filament. It'll get a second, <laughs> okay. and it'll be happy, and then okay. there's a trace, and when you get a chance, uh, yell at me that you're taking the trace, and I'll let you go first. That way it'll be okay. more exciting. I'm, I'm going to it now. Oh yeah, I see it. Cool. Okay, where's your Excel sheet, bro? Can I be a Rando Nerd number 3? Yes, you can, Mildane. Yes, you can. <laughs> Catch him on chat. Wait a minute, so I shielded my channel earlier. Old Man Gamer, thank you for the nine month resub. That was three minutes ago. Sorry oh I couldn't God. get through faster, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right, so you have 20 minutes before the warp field collapses and destroys your ship. Okay, so activate? Yep, activate. You're good. All right, go again. Cool. <laughs> I like this. I'm letting you go first in all three rooms this way. That way you'll get the aggro initially, and then. Uh, okay. We'll, you know, that can actually see you take damage and then see if you'll, if you'll forget to heal yourself. Okay, okay, okay. So we're approaching, we're orbiting. It's always better to orbit, right? Ooh. I figure. Ooh, this is a good room. Uh, I, I, for what we're doing at this moment, yes. It, it, it's much easier. Oh, it depends, I we guess, in the situation. Here. We have two targets here. I hate you. I'm not going to call I primary because I, I don't know which one it is. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Make sure you turn on your afterburner. Make sure you turn on your orange shield. Oh, 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 and you tell me which one we're going to shoot first. It's either going to be uh, Ember or the, Spark. The uh, Ember, Ember Seedle. Yes, this Ember Seedle. I saw take damage. That's what we're blasting. Yep. God. Dude, look, guys, look. I'm gonna really old mate. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate that. You Thank you, old have, mate. Like, three seconds to kick off a hype train. Good luck with that. That's Thank you. Was... <laughs> Good luck with the hype train. So one is down. Uh, <laughs> orbit the spark. Dude, look at this, man. So make sure you change your oh. orbits. And... Sorry, I, I keep I keep like removing my UI and then I just uh, look at the game. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, these being newer newer pieces of content, the, the visuals are, are definitely yeah, drastically I mean... noticeably enhanced. 
Like, if, you, if there's like an actual like uh, EVE player watching, they're probably molding and I'm just removing the UI and just watching the game. But <laughs> it is what it is. No, they're all on the subreddit, you know, crying about things. Oh, so gosh. He got that mouse tingers, man. <laughs> Go back to Okramar. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're killing the these mobs, and I'm actually healing. Now I'm canceling my shield again because I'm overhealing right now. So I'm actually using capacitor, yep, exactly. which I shouldn't. Do I capacitor exactly. re regain my cap capacitor? Yep, yep, yep. Mana oh. regions or cap capacitor regions passively. And there okay. are skills and, and modules. In fact, we have a module on our ship, two modules on our ship right now that are boosting mana. It's the um, oh okay the small compact battery, and the one below that would be the Mark One compact capacitor. Flux coil. God, they love words in this game. But yeah, all those things are, are boosting our. The capacity, longer the so. word is, the more cool it is. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. It, it, does, it does way more stuff. Okay. Okay. Why you stream? We're not playing the game uh, anymore. You need to shoot the loot can and go get the loot can, please. Sorry, I, 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 I am attempting to do so. I'm henceforth cool. activating my missiles, and they are flying at the moment. I like it. Roger, daughter. Uh, let's see. After the look, loot can explodes, look, 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 also look, has look. like a standard operating procedure. Want to get in the habit of reloading your ammo between look. rooms. Reloading it. Like, that's more for the chat. Like, oh, dude, that's cool. I'm run these, these things look simple. I'm going to do it by myself later, and then they you know, die to not Damn. handle their ammo very well. Okay, so all now... I can think about ammo for a while is, is Hunters back in the day. That's, all, that's my only... Yeah, my yeah. Only back back in the day, like they, they remove yeah. ammo for, for Hunters, though, in, in retail now. But back in Vanilla, they, you need to use ammo and stuff. Right? That's what, that's what I was thinking. I was yeah, like, oh, man, exactly, yeah. Be, like, it's a hard thing to balance. Like, quality of life versus... Like, no, you need to, you need to suffer, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, suffering is good sometimes, you know? It makes you realize right? that, you know, it, it, it's a journey. Uh, okay, so now we killed this room, and I looted the thing, so now we can go to the the transfer conduit, and we activate the gate, correct? Correct, you got it. Okay. You just uh, call, out, call out when you activate the gate, just so I know when to click. All right, I'm, I'm going now. I'm heading over to it no now. We're not in any hurry, just to make sure I keep up with that. Yeah. Uh, reverse says, is teaching him about drone management a bit hard for him now? Someone who's new to the game, like we talked about drones earlier. Um, there are ships like this, I'm gonna hop through behind you. There, there are ships that are oh, this yeah. size that can kick out up to five drones. And uh, they're they're mostly autonomous, but in these, what in does the that Abyss, mean? this type of contents, uh, they take damage very easily. Like there are certain rooms that will do flak towers, which is like a big AOE going out, and your drones will just die. Okay. And imagine having, if your drones were your only damage source, and your drones all die. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you're, I got you're shot. Really cool. Sorry. <laughs> you're fine. There's only I, one ship to shoot, and yeah. I have some damage on it. I was gonna let you shoot it first. Okay. This is dope. I like though. how your camera shake is on, so when you get impacted by a weapon. Like, yeah, it like it like it looks like you're actually getting uh, blasted. This is good. If you look on your screen right now, now you've got two debuffs going on right now. Where do you I sell my debuffs? Uh, right above your your hit points. There's a black oh, and a red. Oh, the dark matter red and field. Away, it's the black. Now this is because we're doing a we're doing a certain flavor of filaments. Which means our speed is buffed, and uh, oh. if we were using turrets, weapon systems like guns of any kind, we would have a, a penalty for that. Which is why we're using missiles in this type of room. Uh, I'm okay. not sure, bigger EVE nerds than I would have to tell you this, I don't know if the velocity bonus applies to our missiles. If you remember way back, I was talking about how missiles apply damage. Okay. Part of that damage calculation is based on how fast the missile is going in relation to how fast the target's going. And I don't know how sweaty the game is. Like, I don't know if they went that hard at... at that buff debuff thing. Uh, okay. But there was an orange cloud in this room that we flew through at some point. I can see the orange cloud on my screen pretty easily. You can too, yeah. We flew oh. through that and there was some kind of uh, oh, so buff we or debuff there. Oh, so it's like an, like an area where you go through and then he says, yes, yeah. it does. I'm an Eve nerd. Okay. There you go. Uh, make sure you grab the loot can and shoot it when you get a chance. I'm currently shooting it. Cool. Yeah, so we get a penalty to shield boost or shield, but we get a bonus to shield boost duration. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it makes it rep faster, but it'll, it'll I guess, rep for less. Which yeah. will burn our capacitor out faster. So you gotta think about those things. There's a lot of math to like, not, not, not just like, not math, but if like... If you want to go deep into it, yes. If you want to play, you know, surface level, no. But absolutely. Yeah, I mean, if you just want to play, you play, you can just do it. But like, you can... This is a game you can really min-max a lot out of, it feels like. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so now I looted the thing here, and now we're gonna go to the final one. So this is the final room we're going into. Correct, yep, we're gonna go into the third and final room. Okay, uh, wait, how do I do this? Look at approach. Wait, that's not the right one. Ten. Oh, this is one. Activate gate, there we go. I'm just taking all the loot, dude. He's not even saying anything about it. I'm literally just yoinking it. 
but I think he's rich, guys. This this, this guy, yeah, he, I think he's pretty rich. It looks so cool, though, man. I, that's the main thing for me. I don't want to keep going on about it, but the game actually looks really cool. So, uh, Kashish makes a good point, too. A lot of people, especially newer players, get more intuitive with the radial menu. Uh, I'm old, and so my brain doesn't understand it. <laughs> it just doesn't prefer it. It's all, it's all preference-based. But there is a <clears throat> factor where you can right-click, and then there's like a whole radial menu you can select things from. Uh, let me see if I can get it on my side, and I'll talk you through it if I can find it. What is a radial menu? Uh, if you hold down left-click on something, a radial menu will appear. Oh, and, and hold down left-click. Oh, and then, oh, so I can like bing-bong-bang like that. Yep. Oh, so I can just like left click it? Yeah, yep, yep. There and then go. I can like orbit or I can like lock target. Exactly. Keep it really. It is much more accessible, right? Because like it's right where your mouse cursor is. Yeah, I, I, I just use the menu on the right. Button. Yep. Because that's how the game and, and taught both it to are me. Fine. It's just about comfort level, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. familiarity, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, makes sense. Oh. Okay. So this is the final one, I think, right? I was wondering if you're going to rep. I was waiting. I was gonna spoil it. <laughs> no, I was repairing, man. I saw it. I saw my health go down and I repaired. I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, so now we, we can see we're in the final stage because it's the third one and also it says origin. Okay. Correct, yeah, exactly. So when this when oh this target gosh. dies, you'll grab the loot can, you'll shoot it, and you'll loot it, and you'll head to the gate. Okay. On your overview, there's also those short range blah blah blahs. Uh, yeah. those are AOEs. And they're, they're like just spewing out ammo. So that if, th those things can actually also kill our missiles, which can be also annoying. Uh, but they'll okay. definitely do damage to turrets as well. Okay. So now we're gonna go to the the loot thing, magic approach, and we shoot that. Okay. Where's that one at? If you're doing keys from doing these, how do you get the first key? Uh, I think I think you we we bought the first key, correct? Before we went in here. Yeah, I picked up. Uh, I believe I don't know how many I grabbed. I must have. Okay, six three per run. So yeah, I grabbed six keys before we came in. We burn three keys per run because this content is scaled for for three people. Oh, okay. So no matter how many no matter how many people you bring, it's still going to take three keys to, to open it up for for good. Okay, makes sense. Wait, where am I flying? Uh, destroyers, which are one class up, take uh, two, and cruisers, which were the first hey. thing they made these for, uh, take one key. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to the origin thing. Uh, I don't think you've grabbed the loot yet. Yeah, I think I'm flying to the wrong thing. Um, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw you come to the gate. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait. Yeah, it's the it's the red one, right? Correct. Wait. Yeah, yeah. You shot it. And you okay. It, and you'll bring it to the gate. Okay. 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 Yeah. Flying to the wrong thing. My bad. You're good. <clears throat> okay, dude. My brain is overloading with information. It it, it there's a lot to take. For anyone checking out you for the first time. The link in Guzu's chat right now. Oh. You want to make sure you click that link yeah, when you yeah. make your accounts, or after. You can do it before or after. Yeah. But as long as you you log in through that link, you'll get uh, a bunch of login rewards that are that are massive. And yep, it's hard for me to give like a wow context for that because, like, so basically, I like the menu. Eve doesn't have an XP system. This right? menu's good. Uh, your skills train over time instead of grinding mobs. Okay. Uh, and so. Them giving you unallocated, unspent skill points up front, the mm -hmm. amount that they give you is like almost a month of, of training day one. But as a do day one player, you don't know what to put your points into. And so I always caution people, just hold on to them. Like, oh, when yeah, you know I enough to know you need to put your points in something, that's when you spend them. And, and there's no reason to spend them before that. Okay. Dude. You know how people are with like, oh, money's bring a hole in my pocket. I need to, you know. I got my premium currency. I need to, to blow through real quick. So, okay, well, okay. Yeah, Some, somebody says okay. So that was our. This is like a mythic plus. Someone says now go find a wormhole. What does that mean? I know what a wormhole oh. is, but oh yeah, no, that's a good. That's a good thing too. So I was something okay. I wanted to do, but we're gonna be short on time for that. Um, but basically, okay. So Eve has different types of space. There's high sec, which is like kind of like settled space, like. You're, you're close enough to town where everything's beha everyone's behaving. Yeah. Players can shoot you, but then the police will show up and avenge you. They won't protect you, but they'll avenge you. Okay. So, literally all of EVE is open PvP, okay? Okay. Like, there's absolutely nothing stopping someone from warping on us right now, blapping us both, having a laugh. Oh, really? The, the thing is we don't... So yeah, you're always PvP care. flagged? Yeah, you and I could shoot each other right now. But as soon as you or I started shooting each other, the police would show up and then shoot oh, the aggressor. Oh, okay. 
So there, there, okay, um, and there's like div different levels of police force wherever you are. Exactly. So we're in high sec, so the response time is incredibly quick. Okay. Then you go into low sec. In low sec, uh, players can shoot each other just fine as long as you're not on a station or on a gate. Outside of that, there are no rules. You can just Wait, go, go ham. And then beyond that is called null sec. And in null sec, the null is in reference to no security. Um, and and there, it's like usually there's some exa exa or, uh, exceptions to this, but it's mostly player ran space. And so players can shoot each other at sight however they want to. And then the players who control you know a certain area of space will uh, also patrol it. And, and if they see people who shouldn't be there, they'll, they'll attack them and chase them off or maybe catch them and kill them or you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, and then outside of that, what wormholes were brought up for, okay. uh, you notice how there's a local window uh, for chat and you can see everyone who's in the current system? Uh, uh, yes. There are currently 32 people here. Yeah. Um, in wormholes, there's a local chat, but it doesn't populate unless somebody types. So when you're in a wormhole system, it's like a it's like an individual system. Oh, but there's no tracking or anything. Is this exactly? Oh, so you don't know anyone else is there unless you're watching what's called D scan. Well, we can go to your D scan. We can show people how to do that. Um, so down near your capacitor and your hit points, those two columns we mentioned before that got you to your inventory. Uh, uh, the uh, let's see which one this is. The third one down. If you left click that, it'll open up a radial menu, and oh, I want you to go to the right where it says directional scanner. Hey, wait, what does the icon look like? Uh, go back down to the middle of the screen where your capacitor and your hit points are. Oh, yeah, got it. And there are two columns to the left of that. In the left column, go down to the third button. The scanners? And left click one time. There you go. And go uh, left click it once. They'll open up a radial. And then go to the right and take the right radial. Directional it's scanner. Directional scan. Yep. Take oh, my directional gosh. Scanner and click that. Okay. We're going to change the screen for a moment. We're going we're gonna to make some adjustment. Okay. Um, at top center, <clears throat> there is... How about, so it's like the name of the system that we're in. Abu Dhan, okay. yeah. And to the right of that is a white filled-in box. And if you click that, we're going to get some more options. And we basically want to get the floating option where we can... Uh, okay, floating. Attach. No, oh, floating. yeah, okay, so it's like a window. Perfect. Exactly. Now we can we can more manipulate this a lot easier. Now, that green, funny-looking thing in the middle of the screen is your, your ship's directional scanner giving you information on what's in that direction at that range. Okay. And the UI on this window... Uh, will show you that you're scanning at maximum range, which is 14.3. Uh, I think AU, which I think Chad explained to you before, was like the distance between the sun and the earth or whatever. Like yes, the, yeah, from. the AU thing, um, yeah. And it's scanning at a, I believe, a 90 degree angle. Now you can take that 90 degree angle and you can also, drag it to and the And it's right. more precise, right? If we went to the left, yes, but we're gonna go to the right instead and go 360. But yeah, you went to the left and it made more of a, of a cone shape. Yeah, go so to the right, whoa. and we're gonna go all the way to okay. uh, 360 degree. Whoa. So now, anything, exactly, anything within a 360 degree arc of you at that range is now showing up on your directional scanner. And now you know there's 32 people in local, now you can see some of their ships, uh, you know, okay. some of the other random stuff in space, oh, yeah. and blah, 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 blah. That's huge when you're in a wormhole because you have no local. You yeah, don't so know you can just there. see where everybody, uh, yeah, okay, it makes sense. Exactly, yeah. Now, you might see a ship on D-Scan, but you wouldn't know the name of the pilot unless the pilot was inexperienced and left their name on the ship. Like, this is Guzu's or Dark Rune's <laughs> Kestrel, right? Yeah. Like, your your ship is probably still named uh, Dark Rune's Kestrel. Which, Guzu, uh, that's, that's, you the man. Yeah. You, there's no the reason you would content. ever stop and think, I need to rename yes. my ship right now. It's perfect we all information. Want it another blend no. to give uh, but if you went to a wormhole right now, it would suddenly next, become dude. very important information. Like, and if I leave one other like, tidbit of information for EVE uh, players or potential EVE players, I cannot get away enough from the idea that it isn't that Eve is a better MMO or that WoW is a better MMO. Okay. They are just differently designed. Just and, different, and maybe different Guzu games, can, right? Yeah, maybe you can comment on this. Traditional MMO design philosophy is very WoW-like because WoW is mm -hmm. one of the, the more established, longer-running games of the type. Yeah, I mean, mo mo most MMOs talk, are built in that way, right? Exactly. You talk to an NPC, you get given a task, you go do the task, you come back, and you get your piece of candy. You get yeah. told, good job, go do it again. Rinse mm -hmm. and repeat. That's the, the the basic design of linear progression, right? Yeah. Eve doesn't have an endgame. You're not working towards a raid. You're not working toward uh, a gear score. Like, like it's a, just a okay. sandbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like you kind of do whatever you want. Eve, you fly around in space and you do whatever you want, kind of. How how do I play Eve? That's when people come out of the tutorial, right? What do I do next? What should I do next? What should, mm -hmm. What's next? You decide. That's the hardest concept or idea to communicate and get across to new Eve players because traditionally they either come from another MMO background or they come from uh -huh. uh, 
single player games which do the same thing, right? Like, you yeah, know, talk to sense. an NPC, do a task, come back. We're we're all very understandably familiar with the idea of being told what to do next. Sorry. So when someone tells you, well, in this game, we're going to give you a set of tools until you go mm. have fun, you kind of just blink at them like, what? No, no, yeah. no, tell me, what, what am I supposed to do next? I, and the the the, the yeah. width of, of things you can get, get into in EVE is only limited by your imagination. Yeah. Uh, as an example, if, if you don't mind me promoting somebody's form of gameplay, Yo, you there's a guy ahead. called Vinegar Duche, <laughs> and he's a 60-year-old-ish uh, gentleman who streams EVE and... And he's the chief of the wormhole police. And this comes up because my asked about a wormhole. So yeah. we could send Guzu into a wormhole what? and he's going through and doing a, an exploration site. And all of a sudden, Vinegar Duche shows up and blasts him, just murders him in cold blood. And he role plays it as a cop. And he might investigate, quote unquote, what Guzu was doing wrong, which basically is from Vinny's perspective is anyone he finds in a wormhole is already a criminal. <laughs> and yeah. then he'll blap them and then maybe investigate what they were doing wrong. He has like a whole YouTube series of it. He does a Twitch stream of it. Oh, He's really? been streaming for the past year. It cracks me up. It's it's but it's somebody who who just took a facet or a piece of Eve and turned it into something. Yeah, that, for, that he thought was fun. For, yeah, right. Like this is a funny meme or or line of play or whatever. And if th this is the promotion part that I hopefully Guzu is okay with, they run a public fleet every Sunday. Sure. So tomorrow, whatever your local time is, subtract two hours. Oh. Every Sunday, it's an open fleet. Anyone's welcome to do, go there. They give you a ship. They give you a police skin to go on your ship so you can be part of the meme fleet. That's the whole premise of the name. Uh-huh. They have uh, scouts that are like practice of this form of gameplay. And so they find the content for you. Mm -hmm. They find somebody. They call in the meme fleet. And we go in there and blop de blop like, If Guzu were there tomorrow, this is it. This, I can tell you this is exactly how it would go down. But, okay. We I'm would find somebody. We'd <laughs> tackle them, which means basically make, the, make where their ship can't run away. And we get we would get Guzu on grid, and then we would get all antsy. Guzu, shoot him! Shoot him in the face, Guzu. Guzu's like, oh Jesus. no, guys, I, I don't know if I want to shoot another player in the game. I don't know how I feel about PvP. I, I don't know how Guzu's Dude, gonna react. But that's this... bullying, man. You're gonna like, <laughs> force me to go shoot people, man. That's ex messed up, <laughs> right? And and that's usually okay. like the first time PvP, right? The first uh -huh. time you PvP in a game, it's like, no, it's fine. Just just get him. And uh, dude, how many skill points? Do you... Oh, you're asking Guzu. Yeah, Guzu's got new characters. Probably not very many, but um, yeah. But the, the, the meme fleet is is public fleet, ran every Sunday. Uh, okay. The time that I gave, two hours before now. And it's even brand new day one player accessible. They they have alpha free to play ships available. They have. Uh, so it sounds like an, it's an, like an, in, an initiation to a gang here or something, man. You're going right, like, to yeah, force exactly. people to like, go and like, <laughs> get, get, like, kill people or something, like, get into the gang, man. Don't worry about it, man. If it was everybody's first time at some point, come on, get into it. <laughs> no, just shoot him, dude. It's fine. That's messed up, man. Oh, man. Okay, well... <laughs> but I, I, I teased him before that I wanted to, to, to startle him by... Um, oh, I killed uh, something. ...having a bunch of new EVE players show up. So if anybody in Guzu chat oh. is even remotely considering giving I, EVE a try, I don't know how Guzu wait. distributes information. Like, I have a link to this guy's Discord that I want to send people to and tag at Vinny so I can give him a little bit of a jump scare for this. Um, I, don't know if, I don't know if your mods can accept DMs or how do I... I oh, you know, well, I'm dumb. I, I've got you in a Discord. All right, so well, I don't know what's that's happening. His Discord. If you what? can somehow distribute that in in whatever way is fine with you, uh, let me tag that Vinegar part. Yeah, I don't, Vinny, I don't know what's happening anymore. Let me get this part for you. There we go. I, I'll copy and paste this. I am in a so, map right now, and I have no idea what I'm looking at. This this is the universe, okay. right? <laughs> uh, let me go back to your stream. Yes. So look yeah. how big Eve is. Like yeah. these. This is not even wormhole space. This is high sec, low sec, and null sec, all mapped out for you in a 3D map. Yeah. And it's it's thousands of systems. And there are people in every system doing their own thing, doing different activities. Okay. You got some people who some people in Eve never travel more than six jumps. Like So like is each of the dot like a jump, basically. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So each dot is a it, jump. It's absolutely massive. Like you have four main empires. You've got the okay. the, the Mimitar that you selected. You've got their rival, the Amarians. You've got Kaldari, and you've got Galente. And those four empires kind of chopped up all of high sec. And then low sec, um, okay. typically is is also aligned with uh, various empires. Like of those four, there's just less, you know, uh, police enforcement in, in, yeah. those, in those systems. Um, and then lastly, null sec. Like I think I saw a stain on your screen a moment ago. Venal, 
I think has a lot of nullsec in it. And yeah, uh, these are regions that are completely well, player owned and player ran. Like somebody, like somebody in chat, me like, well, can I go out and claim space by yourself? No, you're gonna have to join a player organization because can oh, you imagine if. trying to go and carve out a system just for yourself in a 20 year old MMO? You know that have had groups. And, yeah, there's and, probably gonna be, be people everywhere, basically, like just no matter yeah, there's where no, you are. Yeah, there's okay. no unclaimed uh, territory, generally speaking. Like there, there's exceptions, of course, to everything, but generally okay. speaking, there's no unclaimed space out there. Uh, but there, when 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 things are good, and this is, I guess, from a biased perspective, mm -hmm. when there's conflict in Eve, those players fighting each other for territory is that's when business is good. Yeah, for of everybody. course. For okay. TCP, for players, for 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 player organizations, like that's uh, when things are, are nice. But when status quo sets in and, and they're not warring and, and, and battling over that space, that's when, when things are too quiet. Okay, so we, we, we did the uh, the Mythic Plus kind of like a things like the, 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 with the keys. Is there something else we could do that's like uh, that's like a new player could get into? I'm gonna take you to a uh, to a wormhole, probably bad. Yeah, I want to see a wormhole. That could be kind of tight. Good, could be kind of good. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Dude, here. you could tell. Yeah, I looked at the clock before. I thought we were done. That he really likes this game, man. He is definitely. Uh, dude, I'm gonna link you in Fleet Shots. Is this how you guys feel like when, we, when I go on a rant? That Ren system. So on your overview, uh -huh. I need you. I don't know. To... I closed my overview. I don't know where it is now. Oh, uh, on the left hand side, scroll. Yep. Not scroll. Uh, on the left hand side, uh, go down until you find the bottom of that UI area where uh, uh, things things collapse down into. Like you've minimized it. I think I, I, it's right right behind your sub counts, oh. uh, or right behind your webcam. One of those two is going to have it for you. Fleet, uh, chat channels, fleet, local, rookie help. I'm going to minimize mine and see if I can find it. Selected oh, yeah, items. No. There's a, there's a right ship. pointing carrot. Uh, I got it. I got, I got the carrot. Part. I got a carrot. Okay, cool. Yep. One of those is your overview. <clears> there you go. You got it. Uh, I'm gonna warp us over to Ren's Gate before you break something. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I'm doing great. I'm doing absolutely fantastic, man. That was our shift Q moment. <laughs> For what the... So we're gonna go back to the market hub, and, uh, and you're gonna buy what well, I'm linking in, in Fleet Chat for you. Uh, this is an exploration ship. It's the <laughs> same faction of ship that we're flying right now, so you don't have to worry about the Caldari frigate skill. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's actually go pretty, pretty smoothly as well. <laughs> What the hell was that? Puka? Puka, thank you for the for the resub there. I appreciate that. Thank you, Puka. Dude, look at this though. Uh, let's see. So when you get to this gate, hop the yep. gate to Renz. Yep. And I I'm hopping the gate to Renz. The station I'm gonna dock in is the station that we go into. So Right-click that and mm. dock. Jesus man. Okay, so and now I need to I'm in Abudan now. Uh, oh, you want no. me to talk no, that? No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm. You're you're you were on the Abaddon Gate, but you're in Renz. You're in the right system. So the station that I linked up, right click it and and dock the, the station. What? My, my perception of your stream might be delayed a few seconds. So. Yes. On my screen, you're already in Renz. Yes, I am a. Pl yes. Oh my god, I saw that question in your chat this week. The whole people what? asking you to get tired of asking this, answering the same question. I'm like, oh, that's the whole job. Like, I mean, you know, if, it's if you all good, man. The same thing, you're in the wrong line of I work. Don't, I don't really mind it because, you know, what? Pearson comes in for the first time. They're like, they want to be a part of the community. So you just answer the question. So for me, I don't really mind it if there's like a, you know, the same question over and over again, right? You get used to it. Exactly. Yep. Um, uh, let's see. Bye. So what do I do now? Okay. Uh, you need to dock at the station that I linked. Uh, in the rookie help? Oh, fleet? Definitely not rookie chat. Definitely fleet chat. Okay, <laughs> so I should not. Okay, I should not go into rookie help. Okay, that's like Baron's chat. Oh god, let's not go there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Do you ever get tired of answering the same question? I don't really mind it too much because like a new person for the first time joining the stream. Okay, you know. When you get there. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll relink it. The Alpha Exploration Heron. It's called Alpha just because it's free to play, uh, accessible, but uh, you can be Omega and use this too. Oh my god, they're charging for something on this ship. What are they trying to rip us off for? Uh, Are we gonna get scammed? Auto targeter. Someone's trying to scam us in here. These things are expensive. What do people do? Let's see what nerds did here. I am not talking. Okay. Cargo scanner's a bit pricey. What about a slightly different question? I'll take uh, that too. What this is, is this? no longer my stream, guys. This That's is Rushlock's stream. Okay. We. Um. So yeah, don't go <laughs> rap rapid clicking on me here. Uh, when yep. you get into the station, which you are. Yes. Uh, click the Alpha Exploheron, so a little window pops up. Where? Uh, in Fleet Chat, it says Alpha Heron or Alpha Exploration Heron. 
Oh, yes, R clicking it. And what do I do with it? Uh, I'm waiting for the pop-up to pop up on my side. And... Yep. And... Waiting. Oh, sorry, I didn't click it. I right-clicked oh, it. you were right-clicking, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, my bad. There we go. So, I want you to click the buy button. And what that's going to do, this is a way to share fits, like, a lot more efficiently, like a ship and it's all its fittings. Before, oh. where I was clicking every individual, you know, element of the ship over one at a time, this is a, a much more efficient way of doing it. What it's going to do is it's going to sniff the market and, and pull all the stuff that we want to we want to buy. But obviously, we're not going to buy all this stuff because somebody is trying to rip people off on one of those modules. Yeah. So what you want to do from that shopping list is remove uh, the make the shopping list a little bit taller and, and, and longer for us so we can see more yep. things at once. I'm making it longer. And there's something called a, a cargo, or sorry, an auto targeter. Yeah, that the one that's really expensive. Put your mouse cursor over it and then a tooltip should appear like an X and click the X and remove item. We don't need that. That's completely yeah. uh, unnecessary for what we're going to be doing anyway, which is great. And also the, the sister core anyway. thing, right? Um, what's it charging you? Let's see. Six point seven million. So, I'm poor. Give me a second to think. No, no, no I'm, I'm trying to think of how I want to explain the chat. So, okay. <laughs> when I put somebody in exploration, those sisters probes uh, are the first upgrade I recommend to them. But you don't need them day one. So go ahead and close that out for me. Go ahead and X those out. Yeah. Out of them. Now it's and four mil. I want you to yeah, and then you're gonna buy that all. Go ahead and buy all that stuff. Can I afford that? I can't. I'll send you some more. I don't know. We're going to find out in a minute. Someone sent me 5 mil. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, how, how, how did I have 50 million? Oh, yeah. Someone must have sent you some misc. Oh, somebody just gave me 50 million? More than likely. I, I oh, okay. Dude, I like this game. This game is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and hit the, the buy button. Oh, uh, did you buy it already? Yep. Do you have any idea? I think I did. Okay. Cool. Uh, let me buy mine. And then before I do that, I want to... I want to link something up that I need you to buy also. You're going to have to replace those probes with a cheaper version. So uh, if buy, people send me money, does it go... I don't have to accept it, it just goes in? Correct, it goes straight in your wallet. For liquid so, isk, yes. Oh, so they just, like, give me money? Yep, absolutely. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, let's <clears> see. So, so, yeah, buy, in Fleet Chat, I put the basic probes in there uh, for the poor folks. And you need to buy 16 of those, please. Uh, 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 where? So what... You're good. And Fleet Shot. Yippers. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. I see what you're doing now. Okay. It's so a market yeah. thing, and I buy 16 of these bad boys here. Yep, yep. So, price. I do one at the station, and I need to buy 16 of those. All right. There's only 10. So, I'm going to buy 10 of these. And then, oh my gosh. And then 10 of the other ones. So, six of these. I have done it. Cool. So. After you buy it, you're going to close the uh, the market window. Okay. And then you're going to go back to your inventory screen and go to the ship hanger. You can close the heron. Well, I guess we should probably leave the heron thing up for now. Uh, okay. Go to your ship hanger on the inventory window, which you already have open. It's uh, got all the red stuff in it. Yebers, I got a ship hanger uh, opening it. So now I got a hex no, hextron. Her heron. Yep. You're going to right click, assemble it, then right click and make it active. Okay. Uh, doing that. Now it's currently active. It's not got a new ship, right? Yep, yep. Oh, this looks kind of cool. It's like a tall boy. This time, click the uh, the Alpha Explo Heron that I linked in Fleet Shot. It's in Fleet Shot. And this time, hit the Fit button and see what happens. So I click Last it. Last time we hit the Buy button. Then I fit the it. Button. Fit the rig, the saving rig, the rigs. Okay, uh, so I'm fitting it. Yeah. We can say yes to that. We're good. And yep, yep. I'm missing some things, but that's the, the things we said no to. Uh, yeah, which is totally normal. That's bad part's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Good. And then, yep, bring your fitting window open. Because we need to do that thing with the skills. We'll see if we gotta see if any skills are missing. Uh fitting window. Uh that'll be the right below your stock market uh, symbol. It's yep. Right below the market. Okay. Welcome to Project Discovery. Nope, that wasn't it at all. <laughs> that, that was the stock market you, one. Oh, that's the map. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. Sorry, dude. It, <laughs> dude, I don't know, man. Listen, at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. I killed boars in the Elwyn Forest, okay? Okay, so... What, what are we... Okay, so now we're gonna, like, level up some stuff again, right? Uh, I think I only see one thing we need to change. There's a one module uh, that we need to get info for and see what we're missing. So show info. You can just right-click show info or put your mouse cursor over it and there's a show info button. Okay, yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Cool. <clears throat> then go, uh, this is the ship for some reason. Uh, get out of there and go back to that module. We didn't go to the module for some reason. We went to the ship for some reason. Uh, yeah, I don't know out, There's a grayed out module on the right side. Oh, the uh, module where, <clears throat> the module. 
correct. Um, yeah, the module where? Where I see the mouse cursor. Oh, not your soul's jumping all over the place. So you're dead center. Go to the right. Oh, the one that's the scanner thing? The one below the scanner. There you go. Perfect. Now you're on it. Yeah, scan oh. acquisition array. You found it. Great. Show info. Now, yep. Yes, show info on that. And I, and I label it up at you? And yep, astrometric acquisition. Slam a, slam one level of that. I slammed it. Skill training. Boom. All right, now turn that module on. Yippers, we'll I got it. it. Oh, it's cool. on. It's on. Now, what, All right, cool. What, what do we do now? Uh, make sure that your probes are loaded into your probe scanner, like like uh, like the missiles that go into your missile launcher. What? Uh, let's see. So. There we go, yeah. Go to your uh, item hanger. Uh, yes. Below your ship hanger. And then, oh, the probe scan, the core scanners? Yep, we're looking for those probes. The probes oh. might be in the ship. No, the probes are not in the ship, okay. Uh, in your, there you go, you got them. There you go. Drag them over and uh, to the higher up. You can drop them on your ship. You don't have to drop them on the actual oh, module. Oh, so. okay, I put it in, I put it in, I put it in. Yeah, that works too. Perfect. Okay. And then put the other eights in your cargo. Not your uh, drone bay, but your cargo. E Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. Cool. It'll be at the top. It'll be right above the drone bay. You'll say Dark Runes, Heron. You just drop it on there. Cool. Oh, you were there? You were got it. There. Yeah, I got it, dude. I found it. Nope. You got it. Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> we got there. Woo! Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> dude, I feel like such a new uh, man. This is an like... exploration vehicle. And we're going to undock again. Uh, okay, um, we're undocking. Okay, so we're going to a wormhole, no? Yeah? That's the hope. That's the plan. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, dude! I'm, I'm. It's so difficult to like. I'm, I'm, there's so off. much information, chat. So I'm gonna warp us over to uh, back over here. Oh Squad warp over there. Very good. Okay. All right, now we're moving. Oh wait, dude! I have Sheesh. no. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Um, no, I didn't take part of the tournament, Les Holtz. We, do, we have the sponsor, and it, line, it didn't line up with the with the timing with it. I'll do the next tournament, right, so though. So I walked into a gate, uh, back into Adbuban, or wherever we were before. Yep. Uh, when you arrived, just jump the gate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Abu, Abu, Aburan. I'm jumping okay. the gate. Cool. Okay. okay. I see you in local. I'm going to warp us over to... Where do I want to go? Go here. Squad warp us. Uh, okay, I am literally there. just following him. Okay. So I am. Earlier okay. we looked at the thing called oh, a this. directional scanner, and now we're going to look at something called the probe scanner. Okay. So down by your capacitor and your hit points. Whenever you get your UI back up. Yeah. Sorry, the UI bucked out, man. It's you're pretty good. weird. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> it keeps bucking uh, out. Okay. Yeah. Those those two columns on the left. Uh, go to the left column, third button down. Left click scanners and then go to the left where it'll say probe scanner. Probing? Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm probing. Okay, so on this, uh, we've already landed, right? Yeah, okay, good. So uh, make this window a little bit smaller just so I can see all your, your modules down below. Uh, otherwise, I won't be able to okay. get through this. It should be, com be completely uh, resizable. Oh, you mean like the, oh, you mean like the actual window? Okay. Yeah, like yeah, like any any corner at all should be able to let you resize it a little bit and just move it up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. Got it. Cool. Um, so we're gonna kick your. Uh, we're gonna hit the launch button. There's a launch button on this window, and that's gonna kick your probes out. Okay. So now it's probing. Okay. Uh, probes are out, and in that in that window, you saw your probes like all these yeah, like the spheres. Blue, yeah, the blue stuff. Yeah. 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 Um, just go ahead and press B for me. B as in boy. Yeah, okay. It's a hotkey for uh, activating the probes and making them do the first thing. First little scan. Yeah, I got it doing it. <laughs> what is this All right, thing? so what those probes are doing is they're trying to trying to identify the cosmic signatures in local. Okay. Uh, there's like a list of scan results, and they're all saying 0%. Uh, but your first scan got you, got you some results already. Yeah, I see that. Um, and... When we get to 25%, it'll tell you the type of site that it is. So I want you to uh, change the 4AU setting down to 1AU. This is some, this is some non wow shit. Like, there's, there's nothing that's going to correlate to this. this yeah, is I don't just... know what is happening. Scanning again? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, when you get it down to one AU from four AU, I want you to um, center those probes on one of the red dots. Probes doesn't pee, right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what do I do that? What do I do that? Oh, we've got two wormholes. You're in luck. Oh, All right, wow. we're gonna get you killed. This is gonna be great. Okay. What, what do we do then? What, what, what do I do? Help! I don't know what to do next. Um. Miss, if you got your, so it still says four AU on How your screen. How can I see if there's those, a wormhole? Where, where do I see the hole? Uh, those cosmic signatures. Once you identify them, it'll tell you what type of, of signature it is, and at least two of them are, are wormholes. So. Okay. 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 I just want to see if I can actually get you to scan down to Sig and, and successfully do so without having any idea what you're doing. Yep, I'm um, doing it. Pick any one of those red dots that has the most progress, and and then move your probes to to be on top of it. You can double click one of those red dots and it, on on the list. And it will recenter your camera in that window to focus on. There you go, perfect. Now, double click oh. in that window somewhere, like just in space. Oh, yeah. Um, Doing it. And it'll I'm... toggle the view of the camera in that window. Ah, uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, in that window, put your mouse cursor on that window. Not out in space. Not out in that kind of space. Hit Control Space because you're you're just drifting off from me now. Sorry, I was flying to it. You're good. Give you. <laughs> uh, in the probe scanning window. Um, yes. Double click in that window somewhere that seems unimportant. Doing it? Like to, okay. uh, yeah. Oh, perfect. There you go. Yeah. Now you can click and drag your probes over to center it on that dot. What? The center square, the center cube. There's like a cube with four arrows going in four different directions. Oh. I want you to click the, the, the center of the cube and just left click, hold, and drag over. Not that. Nope, 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 nope. Uh. <laughs> Uh, like in the middle of the window, there yeah. there's a cube with four big. Oh, like, well, there you go. Oh, yeah, okay. Now there you go. Oh, yeah, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Wow. Uh, double cl double click again to move the camera to the other angle. Just double uh -huh, click. Uh -huh. I'm watching. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And, and then I put, I put the, oh, I get it. Oh, now, it's like a, oh, I get now, it. Yeah. Now, I did it. Now I did center it. it again. There I did we it. go. We got it! Okay, Alright, let's get it again. Hit the uh, B as in boy. Please. BB, boy. Yep. <laughs> B as in boy. Let's go. That's going to take it from a 14% result to... Okay. What's it going to be? What's going to be? What's going to be? Up here, chat. Up here. They're scanning, they're scanning, they're scanning. 33.2. Okay, that means it turned yellow, and it's telling us that you found a wormhole. Oh my god. Oh, I, I see. It's like a little wormhole. swirly boy. Yeah. Can I, do I yeah, change yeah. it there well, again? I want you to go from 1 AU. Why are you at 4 AU again? That's weird. Um... On that list of signatures where it says wormhole, go down, 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 past the list, so you see the words 4AU, or the character's 4AU. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, where it says 4AU, I want you to drag that to the left, till it says 1AU. Oh, so it's all the way inside. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, got oh. it. Okay. Now, that made your probe your probes collapse to a smaller uh, sphere. I want you to scroll and zoom in. You were, you were scrolling out a minute ago, now you're going to scroll in. Uh, 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 no! Oh God! What's Wait. he doing? I'm scrolling. Oh no! Oh no! Don't do that. Whatever that Wait, is, stop. You, it. you told me to scroll, <laughs> man. I'm do now I'm you're doing it. Now you're doing it. You're moving no, the camera. The camera's great. We wanna, we wanna, we wanna not mess with the probes. We just want to. Uh, oh, you told me to hold control. And scroll. Oh no! No, there's never any controls. No, right. like hold control, oh, like sc like a key binding. Scroll, scroll. There we go. Okay, we're good. Oh, oh God. What's yeah. This? Okay. Sorry. Uh. B is in boy. Oh yep. god, I don't know what these B is in boy. Scanning. B is in boy. B is in boy. B is in boy. Clicking B. Clicking B. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, guys. 86%. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, we're almost so there, chat. All right, so I want you to move the camera in. Oh, thank God. Here we go. Perfect. I'm yes, doing yes, it, dude. I'm it. learning. I'm learning. It's more intuitive. You're learning. Yes, he's, he's evolving right in front of us. Okay, and then P as in boy now, again. No, no. Uh, and not then yet. lower that, that. E U I and then P as in boy. Go. Uh, I did, did it. You, did you do it? You did it. You did it. You did it. Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, yeah I did it. <laughs> Let's go. I put the things and I clicked P as in boy. <laughs> so we're. Oh, I, I got it. I got it. So it's 100% now, right? Yes, it's, it's green. All right, give me one second. We'll be good to go. So we're, we're basically, okay, so what we're doing is we're scanning space to, like, find a specific location, and we're dialing yeah, in on it. We're finding an entrance to a wormhole, and uh, there are other types of sites we could do, like data sites and relic sites and all that good stuff, but we want to get you into a wormhole so we can get you in the scariest location possible for a new player that has 
you know, no idea where they are, what's gonna happen next, like... Okay, do I, do I just left-click and then warp to within? Uh, yeah, right-click and warp to. Right-click and warp to zero. Warp drive active. Uh, warp also drive. on that window, I, I want you to, to, uh, call your probes in, so... To the right of where it says, well, right above where it says analyze, the last button on the right will call your probes back. Oh. Your mouse cursor was like right on top. Got it, yeah, got it, got it. So, can I close? Oh, what is this? Is this the hole? This is the hole. I've never seen this before. This is cool. Right. So, we're going to go into a wormhole, and our local will stop existing. We will have no idea who's in there. If anybody, there could be nothing there. I have no idea. Okay. Jump the wormhole, like you would jump a gate. It'll say enter wormhole. And head that way. Okay, so... How do we, like... Wait, what? Do I, or I just click... Oh, okay, I can just, like, do the thing and then enter wormhole. Okay. Yep. If you go to this wormhole, you may end up in the far reaches of space where Concord will not be able to reach you. Do you wish blah, to continue? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is a wormhole, Chad. We're going into a wormhole. Yeah. Now, when we're going into a wormhole... This I can't overstate this enough. The most important thing you will ever do in, in action with a, interacting with a wormhole, as soon as you jump into the wormhole, immediately press Control B. Control boy. As in boy? boy? Okay. Not Shift Q. Definitely Control B. Okay. Why did you? Yeah. Okay. Control B. Okay. So when that pops up, I want you to rename this uh, HS. Guzu, get it together. Like listen exit. to me. B for the reason for this boys, is, once um, I warp I mean, us no, off this wormhole, click that Guzu, we'll have no way listen. back Stick if we didn't have this probe in and no, don't hey, twist hey, it I, like I, that. Guzu, H get it together. <laughs> I don't know what you said. HFS? Uh, just type the word exit. We'll be fine. Exit. I like that exit. better. Yeah. That way we find a way out of here. Thank you for the uh, uh, 300 bits building. That, I'm going to warp us this way. What are all those red things in the map? Uh, let's take a look. Oh, God, there's a Loki right here waiting for us. I hope we get off, off grid in time. That guy's going to shoot us if he sees us. Oh, surely he will not Did see us. I hope he got the warp. This is fine. Where everything is fine. Okay. Um, hmm. I think... Holy! Oh, look at that thing! Stay. Everything's fine, though. We'll be, we'll be okay. Sorry. Oh, I see what I can do. All right. I'll wait for you to land, and then... We'll I'm landing. Again. Cool. Damn! Uh, let's go here. Let's go here. Dude, uh, this is just hands here, off, and he, here, he just... And he's here, playing the game for me at this point. So the Loki can do something called combat probing, which means he can put probes out like we can, except his look for ships. He will oh. find us very, very quickly. So and then like, he will kill us. Okay, so he's like, like we did with the wormhole, he's like dialing in on us. Oh, they exactly. can. Exactly, he's trying to, exactly, yes, exactly like that. He's scanning for ships where, where before uh, we were scanning for the wormhole. So his, okay. his probe scanner window will show, show ships. Uh, let's see, I see you, but I don't see him. But he has a cloak, so he could probably just cloak up and scan. Wait, so um, is he here now, or...? Who, who knows? Anything wait. is possible in wormhole space. Uh, okay. I'm gonna bring us back over here. Oh, is this? Oh, wait. Look at this planet. That's cool. Drive active. I'm gonna warp us again. Hopefully, we got the warp. We'll find it. Yep, we did. Okay. Dude. Uh, when we land this time. Oh, bye bye. I'm going to try and multitask, uh, and you can do this too. So, um, if you remember where your scanners were, you can bring up D scan again and. We need division of labor. Well, we want to bring up all the windows, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spam these scans until I, I think we got a good hand. Okay. Um, yeah, bring up your windows. Perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. So, um, change okay. your angle in the bottom right-hand corner of that window back to 360. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, you, now you have a, now you have the most important job. You're gonna keep us alive. <laughs> so, do you remember today when you were in a tower and you were spamming the AOE button? To try and get that spawn for the quest. Oh, you're talking about wow! Yes. yes oh yes, my yes, gosh! Yeah. That? Okay. Yeah. I want you to I want you to spam the scan button, just like that. Dude, like, he was watching the stream. I get like it. Your okay. very life depended on it. You you spam that button, I, and if anything new shows up, you start screeching. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's some stuff. What we got? Scanner what we got? probes. What, what those? those are mine. Those are fine. Oh, I'm moving okay. them out. Now. The, uh. Maybe make that window longer. Oh, the probe's already left. We're fine. You're, you're, we're fine. My probe's already left. They're no longer on your list. Now you keep spamming that. Okay. And what that's doing is it's constantly looking for that Loki's probes. We probably won't see the Loki. Now with the Loki landing on the hole that he landed on, he was probably leaving and going into high sec. But we don't know that because we're in a wormhole. And there's no way we could possibly know. Uh, I'm scanning with those probes for the types of sites in the system. And I'm going to okay. try and get you to hack and can, uh, which will be pretty terrible. Like that'll be 
Do you, are you old enough to remember Minesweeper? Yes, I remember Minesweeper. Okay. Yes, I don't know. I don't want to assume. I, I, have oh, no yeah, idea. I remember Minesweeper. You're gonna play. You're gonna play <laughs> the worst version of Minesweeper. Okay. That you could ever imagine. All right. It's gonna be absolutely miserable. If I, can I was find really right bad at Minesweeper. Right. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. Then Chad is gonna be so happy to watch you play this. So exploration is about going into space, any you know, high sec, low sec, null sec, uh, wormholes, okay. whatever. And uh, in finding types of sites that will give you "quote unquote" good loot, I'm starting to think this is a non-basic wormhole. Well, let's see if I scan this. Anyway, uh, yes, a non-basic uh, wormhole. So relic and data sites will will have a bunch of little cans on them, like we were in trick space, and we could we could shoot the can okay. and loot it. It's cans like that, but instead of just looting it uh, oh. whenever we want, we have oh. to play a little mini game first to get uh, these cans. That's how those. That's just how those work. And there, there's some things uh, on the thing. Uh, they're my probes. We're good. That's a good call, though. That's good. That's that's your job. Make yep. me aware of anything that shows up there. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking. So we want to find a class one, two, or three wormhole because that's the type of sites we're looking for. I know this knows, this means nothing to you. Yeah. I'm getting some some results here that tell me this is. I'm not a wormhole expert by any means. So. Yeah. Uh, you don't sound like. Yeah. Of course. Here, uh, yeah, 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 this is class basic, two. Uh... Thank you very much. Two. Two. This is this is perfect. All right. This is class two. Then we're fine. I can find us something something good in here. Uh, let's go here. Potentially, nothing's ever guaranteed. Exploration is all about managing potential. Yeah. And some days True. you find nothing. Some days you find something. I don't yep. know. It's like transmog hunting in 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 WoW. I imagine like, in terms of dopamine hits. So people who who go hunting for rare drops or mounts or uh -huh. or uh, transmogs. That's all you're doing is you're looking for a dopamine hit. Like yeah, basically. Is today the day. Is this the the moments? Like surely today I will get it, guys. Today is gonna be the day mount mm -hmm. actually drops. Exactly. That's how exploration is. It's. You're going after these little cans, and you're playing the little Minesweeper minigame, and okay. today might be the day that, that something good comes out. Uh, oh my god, there's so many wormholes in here. I've only got two more SIGs to scan, and then we're done. Uh, let's go okay. here. And you haven't let us die yet. That's fantastic. Like, it's, it's mindless spamming that AoE button, but... I, if I, I am really up, good at this game. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm popping off. Give me, give me one simple mindless task, and I won't fail you. What? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck, man? All right, one sig to go and we're done. Yep. Let's go there. Okay. And thank you, too. Oh. They said it's a pretty quiet system, by the way. Last Zeke entry was three weeks ago. Uh, so far, I've got like a gas site and a bunch of sleeper sites I don't want. Okay. Uh, there's one other wormhole. We can just keep going down the wormholes until we die. That could be a good thing, too. This could be a one way <laughs> trip for Guzu. Wait, what? So no chat would, would be all four. Dude. They they like they want me to live, okay? That's how it goes. So I'm asking this because I don't know. Uh, I, I I know the warlock exists, but or existed, yeah. but now you're on the rogue. Is yeah. this your second hardcore character? No, I've done, I, I've done quite a few. I it's like my it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's like my I, I, at the time of the entire thing, it's like my seventh or eighth, I think. Well, okay. that's over okay. a long period, okay? Uh, a very long period. The last sig was actually the one we wanted. So we're there. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna warp us to the sites. Okay. Now, here's another thing. The sites, <clears throat> somebody could be on that site waiting to kill us. Okay, so they're... okay. Could be. I don't know for sure, but it could be. And we All would right. know just by landing on it. Like, so, like, the wormhole is random? Um... There are some, like, some, like, qualifying parameters that aren't worth going into. Uh, okay. From your perspective, yes. How about that? Not really, but for, for this... So, for so this there's thing, no map for this place either? Uh, correct. Yeah, there's no map for this. It's, okay. not, it's not on the map. Like, you're looking at a map, but yeah. like, this location is... Oh, so, oh, there's a, okay, there's a big ship that's like dead here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like that's just aesthetics, so don't worry about that. Okay. So I want you to pick... Uh, let's see if I can get you to the right one. Oh, yeah. I don't do data sites very often, so I'm trying to remember. I know mainframe's a hard one. So can you go to a data bank for me, please? Yes. Awesome. Why don't you go to a data bank? Yeah. How do I do that? Uh, on your overview, uh, it'll say Blood Data Bank. Blood. Data oh, bank. so I need to go to one of those? Yes, please. Okay, approaching, approaching, currently approaching Correct. the data bank, activating my uh, thrusters. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. This is a micro warp drive. This thing makes it go super fast. You know, like, like you go downhill in a, or down the stairs in do a. Do I need to shoot it as well? Uh, I want you to target it, but I don't want you to oh, shoot it. Okay, not shooting it. 
and then one of your modules, one of the red things, ah! uh, will say data analyzer. Oh. And I want you to activate it uh, once you get close to the thing. Uh, uh what? Uh, Reapproach the uh, the data bank. Approaching you can, it. You can do the radial menu thing and like hold down left click on it uh, out in space, uh, like on the actual. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. do do a keep it range. That way, when your ship won't keep bouncing off of it, like a uh, keep it uh, range. Yeah, yeah, I'm bouncing. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, keep, you're orbiting. Your, there you go. Keep it range. Perfect. All right. So one of your red modules, uh, turn your prop mod, there you go. Uh, one of your red modules will say data analyzer. I want you to activate the data analyzer. You were trying to loot it, and you can't loot it until you Oh, got it. it. Analyzing. Cool. Wait, what is oh, this? Oh. Uh, there's your data line. Okay, cool. Oh, this is Minesweeper. All right. Let me bring you to my main screen so I can what? see what's going on. Yeah. So when you click a node, a number appears. So yeah. click a node for me. So I can see what yeah, I did that, but I didn't read the numbers. I saw numbers. Yeah, neither did I. So let's see. What is this going to say? Wait. Okay, so what, what am I supposed to do? What's, what's the point click, of the game? Click one node for me so I can see a number. Okay, I'll, I'll, so there's the, four. The for you. It says four. Okay, so four clicks from, or four nodes away from that spot is a potentially positive interaction. Okay. That means it'll be a tool, it'll be a reward, or it'll be what's called a data cache, which is a white node, which is is luck based. It can be good or bad. So we don't we don't Four. click those even when we find them. We, we leave oh, so I gotta I gotta try to find it, and then I have like power down here, right? Yeah, your 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 orange number is your HP, and your red number Three. is your attack power, and your attack power doesn't matter until we find the trap. So two. Uh, yep. One. So now there's okay, one, one next to me yeah. somewhere. Yep. Yep. And it's going to be this one. Is be something good. Yep. Let's we'll see which one, one it's going to be. This one. Utility okay. subsystem. All right. If they're both one... And, okay, that's a tool. So grab it. Grab That's a good thing. Grab that tool. Okay. I believe that's a kernel rod. And what that'll do is it puts a, a dot, a damage over time wild thing, on on a trap. We haven't found a trap yet, so we can keep clicking. Keep, okay. Keep, 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 oh, one. Okay, one again. So that's going to be down here. No. Oh. Then it's definitely down here. Okay. okay. Now I've got to repair things. Chat. Chat has a good one. Jack Red. There's something called Rule of Six. Uh, rule of Six. Your next node. Can you can you see that there's a node that has six nodes around it? And when you can identify yeah, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. The person on it for me. Okay. Those those centralized nodes Abyss. are are always safe except for one exception. If we find the exception. That means we also found I one. Said, free. So I want you to click those three nodes that are centered of six. I'm watching your, ma your mouse cursor, I'm waiting for it to move. Sh the, the, yeah. the, the node that you're on yeah. does not have six around it. I knew that. Okay, making sure. Yeah. <laughs> so the one that has six around it is yes, definitely... Yes, there you go, perfect. Click yeah. that one. And click all the ones that are just like it. There are three total right there in a triangle. Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> I, I, do, you told me yes, and I wasn't the one. What do you mean? On, it's the stream delay. Like, uh, go back to the right-hand corner, and there are three nodes surrounded by six other nodes. <laughs> These? Uh, waiting. I'm waiting. Hold on. Let's see. You're jumping over it for some reason. Like, there's there's one in the middle of those two, which yeah. is the correct node. Yeah. Okay. So click the correct node. Clicking the correct node. <laughs> yes. Okay, now the one to the right of that and the one up and to the right of that are also correct nodes. So you can click those and get the numbers off those. Because they have six nodes around them, they're quote unquote uh, safe clicks, <laughs> meaning you're not gonna blow up and die. Okay. Um, so I, we, we saw a two there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, ah, so down to the well, right. I clicked something good. This was good. Case. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me see. That's the trap. We won't click that. Don't oh, do that. Oh, that was All bad. Right. I clicked something Ooh. bad. Okay. This thing's going to try and try and defeat you. So, okay. uh, the, the wrench that you picked up earlier, go ahead and click on that wrench. That's Wrenching? A, that's a, that's a, a health. That's yeah. a, a heal for you. Yeah. Uh, now, you went up into the left. I want you to go down into the right from where you were before. Okay, so now I'm, there's one away. Okay, hold on. All right. <laughs> one of these nodes, one click away, is something good. So, good luck. I'll find it. It's this one. Okay. I'm waiting. Was that good? Let's see what pops up. I, I don't know yet. Hold on. Data cache? Okay. That is the white node. That's a... I can't tell you it's 50-50 because I don't know the actual numbers behind it. Jesus fucking killed it. Anyway, this guy's a madman. Wait, so, I just clicked... I don't know. I just saw a thing and I clicked it, man. 
<laughs> it could be good or it could be bad. Oh. You were lucky and it was good. So oh, of grab course. The grab the wrench, activate it. Oh. I'll get even more hit points. Okay. So I just keep I keep playing Minesweeper or what? Yes, yes, yes. So now if you want to go back to the far we don't we don't ever oh, want to click I found a trap. A trap. Okay. We don't ever want to click traps until we're forced to. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. So now we're forced to. So now you're gonna yep. use that other tool and you're gonna put it on there and click away from it. Don't click it. Like you'll click it one time to apply the, the tool and then click away from it on other nodes so that the, the damage over time can, can break it for us. Okay. Uh-huh, there you go. Uh, okay. Did the tool activate? Okay, the tool didn't activate. Now we're, we're in worse trouble. Oh, we're in trouble. So the new trap that you activated yeah. adds more hit points to the other nodes that are the other uh, traps on the grid. So I want you to click that new trap and get rid of it. Not with the tool, though, but not with the tool. I got rid of the trap. Oh, wait. Awesome. Again? Oh, I'm waiting. Okay, hold on. Wait. Oh, wait, okay, it's not getting rid of it. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, it will. It, eventually, it will. Just keep. Just, uh, okay, I got it. We got spam it. it. Spam it. Just, yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. You got it. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, it's gone. Now what? This is the, we, we got very lucky. It applied all the HP bonus to the far right side. Okay. We're going to ignore the hell of that thing. That thing's a beast now. Yeah, it's a beast. I want you to click your. I want you to left click your tool. Yeah. And I want you to then left click that that sixty on the left hand side. Oh, so we got to tank that one. Yep. Oh, we're, and then we keep gonna, blasting. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. And now it's we're gone. to apply the dot, and then okay, and then you click somewhere else. Oh fuck, you clicked it. Okay, that, that wasn't so good. But anyway. Okay, that was um, not good. <laughs> so now you've opened up again. Click the board some more. Try to explore a little bit. I got it out of the trap. Some... Oh boy. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what happens. Oh shit, you did. All right, go the other one. Go the other way. Go the other, okay, way. other way. Other way. Okay, four. Other way, other way, other way. The trap. Was it another trap? Really? Yeah, it's a trap. Oh my, oh my god. Um, so click one of them. Okay. I don't care which one. Just I'm click looking one. at the one on the right. I died. Okay, now, you can fail a can once and nothing happens. Okay. okay. So you're gonna try again. So are we, are we basically trying to hack it? Is that what we're doing? Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. We're hacking. Okay, hacker man. How do I, I forgot how to do it. Uh, oh, try. Oh, try. Sorry, I got. I got. I got. I got try. Okay, I'm gonna speed run this one. This one I got. Okay. All right. Watch. 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 Okay. So do here. Okay. Three. I go there. Two. Then there's one. It's gonna be somewhere here. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be out here somewhere. There's still one, so it's gonna be there now. So now I got like a thing that gives us kernel rods. Has the coherence of defense subsystem of system core. Okay. I don't know what that means. So I'm just gonna keep exploring. I got a trap. Okay. What do I do now? Okay. So the tool that you got will cut the hit points of that trap in half. Use left click the tool, and then left click the trap. Oh, and it's 45, okay. Okay. Can I keep hacking now? Uh, yeah, you can go to open space, or you can you can defeat the trap if, you, if that's part of your speedrun. <laughs> My speedrun is going the other way, I think. <laughs> All right, three, two, trap. God damn it! Uh, I will speedrun towards the this place. What about the top of the map? There's still a, a still a, a, a top true, there. true, true, true. Five. That's bad. Though up there. So I, I want to kill the trap. Okay, I killed the trap. Good. Okay. Okay. Three, three, two. Okay, so it's gonna. Remember, trap, remember the whole man, dude. There's thing. traps oh, everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, two, one. Here. What? Dude. Hey, you found the core. All right, all right. Oh, all right, all right. yes. The color, the color thing is amazing. This is what we want. Oh. The piece of candy, the loot, is inside that 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 loot. Right, so we gotta kill that. Uh, slow down. We need another tool. Okay. You don't okay. have the hit points to tank that mod that node. No. So we need 90 to and I have yeah. The board. Yeah. We need to find one more tool, and then you win. Okay. So explore more of the board. Not near the, not near the, not near the red thing. Get the fuck away from the red thing. That's okay, terrible. going away from the red thing. <laughs> oh fuck! He got I'm a trap on top of the red thing. Red thing. Okay, oh, I'm going away from the red thing. Oh my god, dude, this is how the warlock died. Okay. No, it is not how the warlock died. Is oh, this a trap? My bad. I, 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 there's a lot of. Oh god, that is a trap. That's okay, bad. that's a trap. Uh, I found a, a, a white thing. I'm gonna click it. I guess okay, another trap. Okay. Okay. Dude. Is that a trap or a tool? Yeah, it it's a trap. trap. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go down here now. Yeah, bottom left-hand corner. Trap. We're fine. Everything's fine. Nothing okay. bad's gonna happen at all. This is okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Bottom left-hand corner still is open. Okay. Another. Okay, trap. No. I'm act <laughs> Okay, I'm attacking the trap. Um, oh, wait, I'm killing my. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's two restoration nodes at the same time. He has two it's restoration nodes. I know, man. 
Dude, Dude this mainframe okay. is too hard. I can't hack it. Okay. All right. Oh man, that's that's brutal. That's uh, hard to watch. Now you just click traps and die. Well, I mean, you won't die, but like, the can's gonna. Well, just just click a trap. You'll see what happens. Dude, I suck, I man. Okay, so the can, <laughs> after a second failure, is going to explode and detonate. It's going to pop a little nice little fire. Uh, this yeah. particular site is not going to kill you. There are sites out there that will kill you. Uh, Ooh. For doing this kind of stuff. Okay, so I, I did that. Now, oh. as as a as a consolation prize, that red node means that you were doing the hardest can available. Damn. Okay. So you almost had a difficult one. And on the site that we're on, you have a choice. Okay. You can you can go for another uh, data bank. There's one more data bank left, or you can go for uh, for the comm tower. The comm tower is the easiest one. The comm tower. The comm tower has a green. Uh, Node, which means it's just like you know more beginner level type stuff. Okay. Wait, where's the com tower at? Uh, it is called Blood C O M Tower. Blood. Everything is blood. Blood com. Oh, I, I got it. Blood com tower. Approach. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Approach. Target, and then activate the, the thingy for you when you get there. Okay, so I'm sure you've got this. One. This will be. This will be. A walk in the park compared to the last one. Alright, so this is like the same as before, but like easier. Exactly. Same okay, rules, okay. same mechanics, just not as hard. Okay, so I do this. Make oh. sure you turn your prop off and uh, keep it range. Also, you're gonna pass uh, off. Yeah, so. I'm already. Wait, wait, yeah, keep it range. And then turn that off, and then I do the data analyzer, right? Yep, yep, you got it. it, it I don't think it's analyzing. You have to uh, target it first. Oh, targeting it. Yep, yep. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do this one now. Okay, for real, guys. Yeah, let's see, chat. Two, one. You've already seen the worst case scenario. There, wrench. Okay, I got uh, the wrench. Too correct, but I mean, we're not gonna be looking at the site too often, anyway, so or too much longer. Anyway. Trap. Okay, that's what fine. We do that all. Four, three, three. So two. wrenches. Activate your wrenches when you get them. Because there's no reason to hold on to. Extra oh, HP. it's healing. Yes, yeah, it's healing. Okay, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, one. There. So that's an RNG right there. So yeah, we want to ignore that until we until we're, we're stuck, basically. Okay, uh, yeah. Or you I click, click it and get lucky. Whichever yeah. one, yeah, it's, it's it's fine. Okay, trap. Two, trap. What? Yeah, whoa. Hey, the green one is good. The green oh, is good. Good trap. A good trap. What we're looking for. So use your tool on the green. Use tool on green. There's no way you can fail this. Oh, and then I just. Oh, click, easy. Click, we click, hacked click, it. Click, 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 and then you loot it. Hey, like we, did that we got the blood come tower. Scroll up on your. Oh yeah, or you can left click from the radio. Yeah, the radio and I can just like uh, open cargo and we get the blood come tower. Yeah, 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 you got it. Easy, it really dude. I'm becoming yeah, a real good. gamer. Oh man. All right, I have successfully. <laughs> dude, that's a good mission, dude. We've done a, we've done some good missions, man. We've done the mythic the mythic plus kind of thing. That's what I'm calling it. And then the uh, right. the little minesweeper stuff. That's cool. I don't know what to equate exploration to in, in WoW, other than like, uh, what, isn't it like an archaeology or something they did years uh, ago? Yeah, there's a profession called archaeology, yeah. Is there anything like that annoying, like, associated uh, with it? Like, I don't know how... I, I, how it's quite annoying, yeah. It, 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 the archaeology thing is quite... I don't think it's in the game anymore, actually. I think they removed it, but it's, maybe it is, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they've, what they've done with it since then. But, yeah. yeah. You've done abyssals, you've done exploration, you're in a wormhole, and we can actually get you out, out alive from this wormhole. Are you ready for me to? Yeah, to let's, get here, let's get out of here, man. Let's get out in okay. one piece, and then the, that 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 that's good. Okay, press L. I'll put it in your Twitch chat. Press that key right there, L. Okay. Yeah, L. I see it. And L. Then the window will pop up, and I want you to hit the pop out button on the right, upper right hand corner, basically. Yep. Open window. There's a button that says pop and out. And exit. And that oh, little window. Oh, that's the there, place. Yes. Yeah, you can right click and warp two. I'm gonna leave you here, so you're on your own. Oh. Uh, just right click and warp two. Warp to zero. Oh, because that's you the little it. thing we made. Yep, yep, yep. That's the bookmark we started. So off that's with. how you get out of the wormholes. You got it. Okay, dude, we're doing good. I, I honestly, um, thank you for wanting to guide me through this. Honestly, I, we're gonna get out now and uh, probably call, call it for the, the little gaming session. But yep, yep. Yeah, it, it was. Um, I think a lot more of an interesting way of going through it than rather just flying through myself, seeing what, like what you can do and stuff like that. Yeah.
it's it's a tough sell because like I mean I've gotten sponsorship things from titles too, and it's like uh huh. I I've gotten sponsorships from from things as well too, and it's like yeah, it's enticing to mm -hmm. um to put some time into it beforehand. Like you could have played the tutorial in the career ages off stream, but that would have been like hours. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's a hard thing to balance and. Mm -hmm. And it's so much easier to go through it with, I think, someone, someone who has more familiarity with it and actually take you and do things in the game versus mm -hmm. just being Yeah, exactly. 15, like trying it out, you know, trying it out for someone who, who exactly. knows the game and maybe like how it could be fun to be playing, right? Yep. I yeah. would say from the small sample space, Guzu is not going to like exploration, but could very well like the, the mythic stuff, right? Like, yeah, I, I think so. I, I definitely think so, for sure. But I mean, thank you for wanting to play with me and uh, teach me the game a little bit. Uh, I'm probably gonna give away the keys here and stuff like that. I don't know if you're gonna be staying live for a little bit, uh, but yeah. Uh, no, I'll probably I'll probably wrap up and, and send my people over to you. That way they can get on the giveaways and. Okay, that, that's fine. That but yeah, again, thank you so much for wanting to, to teach me the game a little bit and being a part of the stream here. I do appreciate that a lot. No problem. I do it Monday through Friday, and, and anyone in chat who wants to try out Eve, if you have questions, just to ask, and I'll be around to help out. Yeah. You can follow his channel, guys, right now. Rushlock, he's called on Twitch. And uh, thank you again, man. Appreciate that. You're good. Have a good one. You too, man. You too. Okay. That was an interesting stream. I uh, I hope you guys liked it. I I don't really know what to say. Rushlock is an amazing guy, though. He's really, really fun. Honestly, guys, I thought... Uh, and obviously, you guys can say what you think about it. I thought doing it like this could make for a really fun stream rather than me just not knowing what to do and just trying to figure out what things to do. Instead, we got someone who actually knows stuff about the game and he could try to teach us a little bit about it and like actually like show what the game is about. So the first time we played it, I was just kind of running around doing my own thing, like figuring out the tutorial. And this time around, we got an actual player that plays the game to show us what's cool about it, right? And I feel like we got a lot of stuff uh, done that way. Um, it was actually fun, it was cool. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, guys, I do have some Omega keys uh, to give away. Uh, I actually have 17 of them. That is quite a lot. Um, which I will obviously be giving away uh, in the chat. So, the way we did it last time is we did it with something called Marbles on Stream, which everybody in chat really can enter. You don't have to subscribe, you don't have to follow anything like that. If you want to enter, you can enter it. So, what we'll do, guys, I have 17 keys, okay? And I'm quite tired. I am not gonna lie. I need to get some food. So, last time we did it, so only the first place got it. But I think this time we're gonna do it, we're gonna do a few races. I think top five. I think we'll do so. Top five actually gets uh, top five gets um, gets an Omega key each, right? Let me just see here. So I will. How do I play a game? All right, we'll do this, and then we'll race. If y'all would like to play, or six, two, and five. Let's do five, five, and two. Guys, if you want to have a chance of winning a Omega key, type exclamation mark play in the chat. Everybody can enter. You just type it in the Twitch chat. And uh, yeah, you can enter the, the giveaway here for an Omega key. Top five will win, guys. So the top five players, I'll make sure you guys get your key. I will DM them on... Uh, on Twitch, so make sure you have your DMs open. You can do with it. You can do with the keyboard what you want. It's basically some game time and it's some in-game currency for the game. So if you want to, if you win it, you can give it to a friend. You can use it yourself. But uh, top five will win, guys. I'm gonna start playing in a few seconds here, and then we can get this going. Again, this is for five Omega keys. I have 17 total, so we're gonna do four races. The first one starts in 10 seconds now, guys. Okay. Can I play without Wanted? Uh, you can play without Wanted, but I'll, I'll give it to the top five, okay? I'll give it to the top five. If you have a friend that wants to play it or give it to someone else in chat, you can do that too, okay? It's completely up to you. But yeah, let's get this going. Actually, I'm going to put on some music because... Uh, there you go. Right, so I still have something playing on, right? There we go, there we go. Okay, let's see who wins chat. Let's see who wins. Quake coming in there. Seathor is actually on top as well. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay. Hopsy back there. We have Mr. Mofford way in the back. Mofford, you need to step up your game a little bit. Eve looks interesting. This is a new patch of Eve, guys. Um, and again, seriously, thank you to Eve for the sponsor. The, the, the amazingly big sponsor for the stream. And I'm really, really happy that uh, we're getting some sponsors for the chat and for me. And it's cool. It, it The stream has grown so much, man. It's, it's badass. 
Flinks is coming in there as well. Okay, D DJ Hopsy there. Okay. Look at that. Flynn Seathar there as well. Abrev. Okay, okay, okay. The, the game ends right over there. Good luck to everybody, though. They were jamming, man. We're jamming today. Seathor! No! Creed coming in, Beetlebug. Lush and Freak there as well. Kexo is way in the back. Actually, he's like quite in the middle. He's going. Naxter is getting thrown to space. He's actually playing Eve already. There we go. And here is the first place. Dallin93, Jason, Beetlebug. It's top five, guys. Creed and Stash. Okay, I'll make sure I type y'all name y'all's names down just so I know who to give it to. And we should be good here, guys. Okay, so Dallin 93, Jason, Beetle, Buck 95, Crete, and Stash for oh flip, I have a caps lock on. Dallin 93. J Jason. Jish Jishin, sorry. Beetle Buck 95. Creed and Stash 420. Okay. We have a few more races to do, guys. That is the first five keys we have given away. I will DM you guys after the stream is over. So keep your keep your DMs open, guys. And I'll make sure you guys get your key, eh? Crow pick coming in there as well. Okay. Last place gets permaband. No, not today. Maybe next time. Dude, you, you two took a fat L there. Okay. I will not have my DMs open. Well, I can't force you. Oh, rip to that guy. He actually went to space as well. They, oh! Well, you guys all are going to space. Okay. Nice. Dallin is the winner. Again, it was top five, guys. So Dallin, Jishin, uh, Beetlebug, Crete, and Stash. Let's do a random track again, and then go again. Exclamation mark, play. Exclamation mark play guys. This is the next 10 keys or next five keys five keys again top five We have 17 keys total and they are everybody can enter guys doesn't matter if you're soft or following or anything everybody can get to play you Can do whatever the, with whatever love whatever would you keep with what you like and I'm gonna click play in a few seconds now And we're gonna start playing now again. This is for an Omega key. Okay, Omega All right Round number two. Good luck to everybody. There it is. This track is... Oh my god, it's a long track. Jesus Christ. Let's go. I don't see myself. If you typed play, you should definitely be in. Dildoser. Sometimes it doesn't show the thing image, but you should definitely be in. Alright. What is this little blob person? Who's that? From darkness comes light. Maybe he's like a marbles main. Okay. Okay, ZH, Peepo, Peepo Happy. I like that name. Okay. Kale Thor as well. Boost. Yeah, exclamation mark boost, guys, will give you a, a special power boost, which can increase your chance of winning by a lot. It's pretty crazy. Peepo Happy is actually like on top. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, this is the. Oh. Thank you, Mediana kind as well sir. coming in. Rushlock, thank you for the raid, man. I'm giving away the keys currently for the game. So if you have any interest in it, um, we have, what is it, like 12 more keys? No. After this, we have seven more keys to give away. So you guys still have a chance to get Rushlock. Did I say Rushlock? Rushlock. Apologies. Thank you for wanting to play with me, by the way. I had no idea what I was doing, but it was fun. You definitely made it a lot more <laughs> enjoyable to figure out what's going on. So big shout out to Rushlock again, guys. Helping out a, a lost player in space, literally. So thank you, man. Thank you so much for helping it out. Honestly, I think I think it made for a great stream. I thought it was really fun. It, it was good times, man. Rushluk, yeah, Rushluk. Thanks to Rushluk, man. Thanks, thanks again, dude. Okay, again, it's top five, guys. It's top five. Okay, sneeze coming in. Krut, Cylon, right there. Thank you for enduring our streamer. Hey guys, come on, man. There it is. Sprudel is way in the back. Oh my gosh, dude. You need to get a little bit better with your Marbies, don't you? Okay. We got some people coming in, though. 
you can actually do two routes here. You can either go with the left way, where you can go all the way down over there, or you can do a little sneaky side there as well. John Cannon is going for the sneaky way up there. Don't you saw your message earlier, but amazing you played Eve. I worked as a GM for Eve the past three years. I saw it. I saw it. I, it was really hard to read chat and also interact and like talk to uh, to Rushlock as well. So I did read the chat. It was just I, I couldn't talk as much to it as I as I used to, right? But yeah, I did I did read chat. Okay, Gorm coming in. I think Gorm is definitely going to take the first Omega key here, unless he gets knocked off, but I don't think he will be. Hello, Paranizer. Dr. Gorm with the first key. MK Nisos gets one. John McKinnon and Luncifer did not get one, but just barely. Again, guys, you can do with these keys as you wish. You can use them yourself, or you can give it to a friend, okay? Dr. Gorm. Dr. Gorm MKV. Nisos, uh, John McKinnon, and Miss Buro, 69. This is not Eve. I am giving away a few keys uh, for Omega. So a few Omega keys. We just played for a few hours, and now we are giving a few keys away because we got sponsored a few keys. So let's give them away to you guys. Again, I will DM your guys on Discord. Or, sorry, on Twitch. So keep your DMs open, okay? Okay, there we go. Okay, random track. Again, five keys again, guys. Five more now. We have seven more to give away. We're going to do five this round and two in the final round, okay? Exclamation mark, play. Again, this is everybody who can enter. It is for Omega Keys. What is this thing? Why is it like a cauldron? This is like a spoopy one. Okay, how many boosts can we use? As many as you want. Starting in 10 seconds, guys. Exclamation mark, play. Hey, what's going on here, man? Okay, I can't listen to music here. This is too spooky. Okay. So we're going down the kettle here, and we're going to go into the scary witch place. East TH coming in first here as well. Again, top five will win, and... What the hell, man? There's jump scares. Hey, stop! S stop! Hey! What the? I'm playing a goddamn horror game here. Oh, dude, you guys are way in the back back there. Oh, there's two routes, actually. There's Snooki and Miku is going another way. They're going like a spooky way over there. By an angry little face. Okay, and the other people are going this way as well. Wait, did you guys get tricked to go another way? I'm actually not too sure what's happening here. What the? Oh, bounce. KFC down the street. Maybe you're gonna get a little Omega key as well uh, as well down the street. You're scuffed again. Nico, you're definitely... Uh, you're definitely not getting W's today. Okay. There was a pot down there. Pot friend. Oh, you're going up the, up the pot. Okay. I don't know what is happening. I don't know where this ends, but we're going this way. Oh, is this guy in the front now? Wait, who's in the front? Wait, where where are we going? <laughs> okay, well, I think these are people are the I think this guy's in the lead. I think. I have no clue what's happening. Yeah, this is the lead. Dude, this is like playing Eve all over again, man. I don't know what's going on anymore. Okay, I think we're going all the way down the place here. Through that, and then inside of that. Mediana, right there. Oh yeah, we're going down there, and then into this, and then it, we're, uh, that's it, basically. Trollor, Joy Robert coming there. Mordok, Seathor, Dentorm, Kicks. Hey, yo. Somebody just got abducted, okay. Mr. Moffat is wearing the bag as usual. KFC down the street. And we got Fire Salamander. No, Trollor XJX. Epic Ninja Fire Salamander. Top five right there. That's how it is, guys. Oh. Oh, I can't. There we go. This map was really wonky. It was very, very wonky. Oh, rip that guy. 
Climber coming in last. If in the chat for Climber. Why am I pink? I don't know why you're pink, Mufford. I'm not sure. Okay, so it was the KFC down the street. And then it was uh, Trollor1, XJX, underscore, Epic, X, Nin. Dude, your name is so hard, man. Ninja, and then Fire Salamander73. Okay. Li final one, guys. We're gonna have two final keys. This one will be the first place and the final place. So first place or last place, okay? And we're doing a race, it seems. Okay. All right, this is gonna be a race. So first place gets the key and the final place gets the key as well, guys. Two final keys to give away, chat. And again, thanks to Eve for the big sponsor, obviously. Thank you, thank you so much to Eve. So I think there's going to be three laps total, and then the person who finishes the first wins the first opinion. Let's go, guys. First and last place, okay? I have no idea what this is about, but I'm still playing. I feel free to. Oh, here it is, guys. Here it is, man. <clears throat> last time, Kexo won the race, so maybe he's going to be just as good this time as well. Miko coming in first place already. Mediana coming up right behind. And Swithark as well. Who's way in the back though? That is... Seathor, I think. Seathor is very not great at this game. Or he's playing well and wanting to lose on purpose. <clears throat> okay, look at that. All the people coming in there. Mo Moffat is quite in the middle right now. Seathor is way, way, way in the back. Okay. Okay, I see Fanatical there. Eskev, what is up? Think first lap is coming through now. Anything could happen, guys. I think the, the balls have like some sort of a gra gra gravitational pull that could like make them change places. So I don't know how it works, but uh, it, I think you know. Uh, yeah, no clue. Honestly, I have no idea how it works. Okay, there we go. All the balls are together. Place is almost Dildos are coming in there. Miko, Switzak, Istiach, first place so far. I think the final lap is coming up after this one, guys. Cherry Peepo coming in as well. Who's last place right now? That is still Sithar, kinda. Kexo is really uh, in the last place as well. What is that picture? Can you please. Oh my god, I do not like that. Why would you have that as a picture, man? Okay, there we go. That is cursed, man. Final place coming in now. Don't go to mine. I don't think I want to. Yeah. Miko is in first place again. Okay, Nico, you, you're in last place, man. Okay, is this is it. This is it. Yeah, Miko first place and Nico last place. Miko and Nico. There it is, guys. So Miko, you get a key as well, and Nico, you get a key as well. Miko and Nico. Okay, guys, if you want a key, uh, I will DM it to you on Twitch. So open your DMs, and I will uh, make sure you get your key there as well. Uh, thanks again to Eve, by the way, for the big sponsor. It really is massive, so thank you for that to Eve, guys. And uh, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we didn't get to do the RFC tournament today, but I hope you guys enjoyed this very different stream, uh, playing Eve and um, doing some other stuff, right? So, yeah, guys. I'm probably going to call it here. Tomorrow, uh, I won't be live, uh, by the way. I'm not going to be live tomorrow. I uh, have some IRL stuff i got to do. I've got some family things i got to get up to. So I will not be here tomorrow. Uh, but I will be back on Monday. So that is going to be the plan for that, guys. So no, no, no stream tomorrow, eh? But regardless, though, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I hope you guys had fun. And uh, thank you so much to Eve again for the sponsor. Don't die. I will not die. More horror games? We'll have to see, right? We'll have to see. But again, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, the people watching the, the variety and, like, the the different kind of games, guys, it, it means a ton. So big shout-out to y'all in the chat, obviously, and, uh, and everything like that, too, okay? 
Uh, I'll send you guys over to Snacky Box today, because I can never really host Snacky Box, and I think he's doing the tournament. So, say hello to Snacky from me, guys, and uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go get some food and probably sleep, because I'm so tired. No stream tomorrow, guys. I'll be back on, on Monday. All right. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching, and much love to everybody in the chat. See you guys tomorrow. No, Monday. Bye-bye. Scott and Monastery on Monday. The moon and star come to me through fire and war. Oh, oh, come near a bar. Come and look upon my heart. Look upon my heart. Oh, lay down your weapon. It is not too late for my mercy. Oh, oh, come and look upon my heart. Look upon my heart. Oh, 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 I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. God. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god.